Chapter 616, Please Don't Open Them, Boom. It seemed Zuke had regained his mighty power and created the Heavenly Thunder Seal again. The upgrade progress of the seal had reached 95% which was very close to the consummation. The heavenly thunder seal was converging again. The spiritual chi in the celestial burial valley pumped out at an exaggerated rate. From a distance, it looked like a river of spiritual chi being pumped out. The spiritual chi was intertwining with the thunder power in the air before being turned into a seal with engraved dragon and elephant. The heavenly thunder seal, which was close to its consummation, was twice as powerful as before. It seemed to be more and more substantial, especially the engraved dragon and elephant covered with flowing blue thunder. Lightning flashed around and gave off heavenly power like the heavenly retribution hanging over the remaining 200,000 comma plus celestial soldiers. Pay it back. Those celestial soldiers shouted again. It seemed they were not intelligent and could only repeat those words. You may collect your debt in hell. Zuke didn't want to waste time anymore. He controlled the heavenly thunder seal with his hands and smashed it down directly. Rumble. With a big bang, the last 200 comma plus celestial soldiers exploded and turned into a cloud of dazzling silver lightning gushing towards Zuke. In the system interface, the cultivation progress of the heavenly thunder seal was enhanced to 100% in the blink of an eye. Now it had reached its consummation. After that, crackling sounds came from Zuke's body. His bones filled with silver dots of light and his body was covered by a dazzling silver light that looked like an invulnerable silver skin. Whoosh! He opened his shining eyes and several small lightning bolts flashed above them. Now he could see things 50 kilometers away clearly. When he became stronger, his eyes became more powerful than telescopes. Zuke really wanted to roar wildly. This time he had gained a lot. Both his physique and the heavenly thunder seal had been upgraded. More importantly, he had won over 10,000 acting tough points, which was quite rewarding. However, he controlled his mood and pretended to be angry. Then, he looked down at the crowd with intense murderous intent. Most of the people beneath him had stopped fighting. Now all the storage rings were divided up. The powerhouses obtained most of the storage rings. However, these guys were still not satisfied. They were looking at each other as if they would kill and rob their opponents at any time. Guys, how about returning the storage rings to me? Zuke asked. I promise to accept everything you request. His proposal was ignored. Some holy sons and holy virgins even sneered. You want us to return the storage rings to you? Keep dreaming. Zuke looked at Genji and folded his hands. Ms. Gen of the Illusionary Flower and Moon Sect. Do you remember me? Please return the storage ring to me. You will get a fountain-like return of generosity from me. Kenji smiled dryly and angrily shook her head. You caused big trouble in my bright moon hotel and ruined two spells. Now it is perfectly logical and reasonable for me to take a storage ring from you. What you said is reasonable, but don't you really want my fountain-like return of generosity in the future? Zuke asked. Kenji frowned for she felt something was wrong with Zuke's words. However, she just ignored Zuke's question and said nothing. Little brat, are you crazy? Buttface said. They've grabbed the rings. Why do you ask they return them? Buttface was too stupid to figure out Zuke's plan. He only knew those who had obtained the rings would suffer but he didn't understand why Zuke wanted to get the rings back. Zuke shook his head and said, these storage rings are too dangerous. If they take the rings away, the consequence will be disastrous. After saying that, he turned to the cultivators and spoke, his face filled with righteousness. Guys, I am not kidding. Please return the storage rings to me. Please. Hey. Many people started to sneer at him. Return the rings to you? Why are you so innocent? Why should we return the things we robbed to you? My young friend, this world doesn't suit you. An old man shook his head, feeling that Zuke's words were very naive. Just ignore him. He is not qualified to get these things. Dong Genji smiled coldly and ignored Zuke's request. Then, he distributed the storage rings to the geniuses of the Carefree building and prepared to break the restrictive barrier and check the things inside. Seeing that, 
people of the Zhang family and other big families and sect stepped back vigilantly to keep a safe distance. They planned to check the things inside the rings before deciding whether they should continue killing others. They couldn't hold back their curiosity anymore. The more eager Zhu Kei wanted to get back the rings, the more it seemed to confirm there were extraordinary items inside. Whoosh, 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 all at once, many soul strengths reached out and it almost formed a giant soul barrier. Then, they started to probe the contents of the storage rings. Seeing that, Zhu Kei's face fell and he yelled, Stop, don't open them. Again, his yelling was ignored. After sensing the weak restrictive barrier on the storage rings, many people started to smile coldly. The next moment, they concentrated their soul strength and prepared to break the barrier forcibly. Please, don't open them. Zhu Kei shouted again and flew into the sky. However, most people were focused on the storage rings. Nobody noticed Zhu Kei's movement. With outstanding soul strength, Dong Zhenji decided to break over a dozen storage rings at once. Crack. Instantly, numerous crisp squishes came out. The restrictive barriers of the storage rings started to crack which was unexpectedly easy. Now Dong Zhenji openly expressed more contempt for Zhu Kei. Although Zhu Kei had shown some powerful strength, his soul strength was weak at the level of the infant transformation stage. Dong Zhenji thought this reflected the true strength of Zhu Kei. It was well known in the world of cultivators that those who chose to strengthen physique always had weak soul strength. After all, no one would waste time and energy cultivating physique and soul strength at the same time. It's done. At this moment, Dong Zhenji concentrated his soul strength to impact the restrictive barriers of the storage rings for the second time. The barriers were crushed instantly and his face started to be beamed with delight. However, a moment later, he was directly covered by an extremely horrible momentum as well as the intense aura of upset and danger. No. Dong Zhenji looked horrified as he realized something. He moved as if to throw the storage rings away. It was too late. When the restrictive barriers of the storage rings broke, the violent three-color fire lotuses gushed out crazily. Boom. All at once, over a dozen three-color fire lotuses in the storage rings exploded. The fiery violent energy directly hit Dong Zhenji's face. SHT. It's a trap. Don't open the storage rings. Almost at the same time. Everyone else also started to fearfully cry out. The powerhouses of the Zhang family, as well as the other big families and sects, had opened the storage rings. When they sensed something was wrong, they also wanted to throw the rings away. However, they were also too slow. The reason that Zhu Kei threw the fire lotuses into the storage rings at the critical explosion time was to minimize these guys' time for response. He wanted the fire lotuses to explode immediately when the storage rings opened. Boom, boom, rumble. Instantly, dozens of earth-shaking explosions occurred in the sea of black flames. The ground shook violently. Countless mountains collapsed on the spot. Horrible fiery airwaves rose skyward and created many enormous mushroom clouds like the explosions of atomic bombs. Everyone was wrapped by the three color flames. Numerous powerhouses at the infant transformation state evaporated into mists of blood. No. Dong Zhenji's gut-wrenching cry echoed between the sky and earth as if he were suffering terrible pain. Little beast, how dare you set us up? Ah! Zhang Yashu also yelled angrily in the explosion. He almost lost his mind and his yelling was very frightening. Whoosh, Zhu Kei descended slowly from the sky. His eyes narrowed in a cruel smile. Why are you so despicable? I told you those rings were dangerous. I even begged you not to open them. But you insisted on opening them. What can I do? I am also quite desperate. Ha ha ha. Are you angry? Are you angry? I just want to know. Dot. As he spoke, Zhu Kei raised up a mountainous heavenly thunder seal and smashed it down abruptly. He loudly shouted, I just want to know, are you angry? Chapter 617, Something Wrong, Bang. The heavenly thunder seal flew heavily toward the cultivators buried in the black fire. The next minute, the heavenly thunder seal burst and changed into countless silver bolts of lightning. The entire sea of black fire immediately turned into a pond of silver lightning. Hundreds of thousands of cultivators were burned to ashes. In the distance, the Utopia faction watched, 
All the members stunned. A young man of the Utopia faction was so shocked that his feet could no longer support his body and he collapsed to the ground. The few elders' faces all turned pale and their hands kept shaking. They were very glad that they had listened to Liu Jingning's words and did not go over there. This young man is really a cruel man. He just killed so many cultivators without even flinching. We. Dot. The Utopia faction should never make ourselves an enemy of that young man. An old man of the Utopia faction said, The Utopia faction had always been proud of their evil characteristics, but now they felt extremely overshadowed compared to Zhu Ke's mercilessness. Liu Jingning was also shocked. She had always been regarded as an evil and cruel woman by other cultivators. She had never expected Zhu Ke could be this ruthless even more ruthless than her. Not very far from the Celestial Burial Valley, there stood another group of stunned cultivators. Most of them were from the Heaven Secret Pavilion. After seeing what had happened just now, they were all speechless. That young man is really at the infant transformation stage. He has killed almost 10,000 people and without even blinking. I'm afraid it's not the first time he has done such a thing. We were all wrong, compared to Zhang Hongyan. He is a much tougher figure. If not for the Holy Virgin Han Ying, we would be dead by now. A young man from the Heaven Secret Pavilion said. Right at this moment, Han Ying looked extremely worried. Earlier, when everyone was dashing toward the Celestial Burial Valley, she had suddenly experienced a strong sense that something bad would happen soon. Thus, she immediately stopped her peers from entering the Celestial Burial Valley. She had felt that once they did, they would also be killed. Even if she sensed the danger very early, she never thought the result would be this severe. Who on earth is he? Han Ying murmured, staring at Zhu Ke who was floating in the air. I can't see his past nor his future. Dot. Dot. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 430 acting tough points for successfully acting tough. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 460 acting tough points for successfully acting tough. Dot. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 200,000 experience points for successfully killing a cultivator of the original infant stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 200,000 experience points for successfully killing a cultivator of the original infant stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 1 million experience points for successfully killing a cultivator of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 2 million experience points for successfully killing a cultivator in the high level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 2 million experience points for successfully killing a cultivator in the high level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting 8 million experience points for successfully killing a cultivator of the void training stage. Dot. The sound of notification of the system kept ringing. Ding. Congratulations on the host successfully entering a higher level. You are now in the fifth level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host successfully entering a higher level. You are now in the sixth level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host successfully entering a higher level. You are now in the seventh level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host successfully entering a higher level. You are now in the eighth level of the infant transformation stage. Ding. Congratulations on the host successfully entering a higher level. You are now in the ninth level of the infant transformation stage. Dot. In just a few seconds. Zhu Ke had entered the ninth level of the infant transformation stage. Dot. Now, he was only a step away from completing the cultivation of the infant transformation stage. There were only a few months between him and getting into the infant transformation stage. For others, to get into a higher level, they would have to absorb enough spiritual chi and learn a certain amount of inscriptions. Well, for Zhu Ke, he only needed to kill a certain amount of cultivators with the help of the system. I only advance five levels after killing this amount of people. Zhu Ke frowned, unsatisfied with the achievement he had made. In the past, he had managed to advance five levels after killing a few hundred cultivators. This time, 
after he had killed thousands of cultivators at both the original infant stage and the infant transformation stage, he had only advanced five levels. This is not what I had expected. I can see that it takes about tens of millions of experience points to go one level higher when it comes to the infant transformation stage. If I want to step into the tenth level of the infant transformation stage, I'll need another 90 million experience points, which means I'll have to kill 45 cultivators of the infant transformation stage. To reach the void training stage, I'll have to kill hundreds of cultivators at the infant transformation stage to get one level up. The number will just keep growing and growing, and by the time I get to the form synthesis stage, dot. Will there even be enough cultivators here in the eastern continent? Thinking of this, Zhu K murmured, that doesn't seem feasible, dot. What if I kill all the cultivators and beasts in the continent and still can't reach the highest level? Others can do so through cultivation. But for me, this won't work. Dot. Do I need to cultivate some cultivators and kill them later? Zhu Kei shook his head. Crap. My future seems rather bleak now. Ding. Congratulations on the host getting a mysterious parcel for successfully killing a cultivator of the void training stage for the very first time. A mysterious parcel? Hearing this, he suddenly recalled that when he killed a cultivator of the original infant stage and a cultivator of the infant transformation stage, he also got such a parcel. Zuke became very happy and stopped worrying about the future. I wonder what's inside this time. I hope there's a beautiful maiden inside. Zuke was very excited. However, when he was about to open it, he heard an explosion. Bang. The fire on the ground was out. Dot. Zuke noticed a few hundred injured figures still alive, some half kneeling on the ground, some barely standing. Holy sht, they're still alive. Zuke was stunned. That's impossible. Although the cultivators of the highest level of the void training stage are very powerful, with my fully cultivated heavenly thunder seal and other inscriptions, they should have all been killed. Thinking of this. Zuke quickly checked the system and found that he had indeed killed a cultivator of the void training stage, but he was just in the first level. Can it be possible that my gesture was not right? Zuke was confused and looked at all the strong cultivators of the void training stage with surprise. Dong Zhenji, who was bleeding, stared coldly at Zuke. From now on, you are an enemy of the entire carefree building. The leader of the Zhang family half kneeled on the ground and shouted, you be stirred. You'll see. The entire Gong family won't let you get away with this. The Bei family will make sure that you die a horrific death. Dot. Hearing this, Zuke was not afraid at all. He raised his hand again to make another heavenly thunder seal and hit those on the ground. Bang. Countless silver bolts of lightning appeared. The cultivators of the void training stage screamed. But when the power of the lightning faded, Zuke found that they were still alive. Dot. This is impossible. He exclaimed, making another three-color fire lotus and throwing it at them. Then he summoned his dark heavy buster sword and hit Dong Zhenji's genitals. Ah! Dong Zhenji screamed in great pain. Still, all the cultivators of the void training stage remained alive. Zhu Ke realized that there must be something wrong with himself. He put his hands behind his back and contemplated. Sorry, I think we all know each other very well now. So we shall be friends from now on. By the way, can you tell me how you guys are still alive? Chapter 618 The Heavens Are Envious of Hong Yun. Puff. Several powerhouses at the void training stage spat out mouthfuls of blood. After being seriously wounded, they were once again annoyed at Zhu Kei. They couldn't suppress the aggravation they felt over their wounds and spat blood at him. Out of blows friendship grows. Who the hell is your friend? You are too shameless. You want advice from us? This is absolutely not how to take advice from others. You asked how we could survive your attack? How the hell could we know that? It's none of our effing business. All surviving powerhouses at the void training stage were pissed off. Some old men even foamed at the mouth with rage. All of them were anxious to tear out Zhu Kei's mouth, his words were too cruel. Little beast, you're far from being qualified to kill us. Zhang Yashu said angrily, his teeth clenched. As the grand elder of the Zhang family, 
he had never been in such a mess. Today he had been set up by a young man at the infant transformation stage. Half of his hair had burnt away. How could he hold back his hatred? Little brat, I will be completely convinced if you could defeat me fairly and unequivocally. But you set me up with such despicable methods. I swear I will make you suffer. Zhao Munan, the holy son of the heavenly demon sect yelled angrily. The Fangshan halberd in his hand was becoming more and more scarlet and gave horrible murderous intent. Everyone else said nothing but glared at Zhu Ke angrily as they healed their wounds. Zhu Ke ignored their fury. He was confused as to why he hadn't killed these people. He had used his most powerful magic arts, but the result was barely satisfactory. All cultivators whose cultivation stages were equal to or lower than the infant transformation stage had been killed. Only one cultivator at the void training stage had been killed. This guy was just at level 1 of the void training stage. This did not make sense. Suddenly, a soft, cutesy voice reached Zuke's ears. Little brat, wasn't your attack too ruthless? Zuke was stunned and looked around immediately. He realized Liu Jingning was delivering a message to him from afar. Little sister, your message came just in time. Please tell me, why can't I kill these people? He asked through a message as well. Liu Jingning was stunned. What? Isn't it because you're soft-hearted? Zuke's heart sunk. Was I soft-hearted? I did my best to attack them, but they were only seriously wounded, not killed. This. Dot. Wait. Liu Jingning's surprised voice came in. Little brat, you said you did your best to attack. Why didn't you use your Taoist connotation? Please don't tell me you still have no Taoist connotation. Zhu Ke was stunned again. The Taoist connotation? Does this require the Taoist connotation? System, you come out. Where is my Taoist connotation? Zhu Ke asked, opening the system. Before the system's reply. A message from Liu Jingning reached him again. Little brat, your magic arts are quite powerful, comparable to the Celestial Emperor's arts. However, I discovered you don't have any Taoist connotation. I thought you didn't attack them with your full power because you were soft-hearted. Could it be that you really have no Taoist connotation? Liu Jingning's voice was full of curiosity. Zhu Ke was also puzzled and replied. It seems I really have no Taoist connotation. Could you come to me in the evening and check my body? Okay. Liu Jingning replied seriously. Zhu Ke's eyes lit up immediately. Is she really going to check my body? I mean, the body check that I will strip naked for. Dot. This is so embarrassing. Dot. Little quick. It is weird that you could reach the infant transformation stage when you have no Taoist connotation. However. What will you do in the future? Liu Jingning asked. If your Taoist connotation can't be shaped into an embryonic form, you can't reach the void training stage. Zhu Ke was surprised. What do you mean? Is the Taoist connotation a necessary condition for me to reach the void training stage? Wait, could it be that I couldn't kill them just now because they have the Taoist connotation and I don't? This assumption was totally unacceptable for Zhu Ke. The Taoist connotation was something invisible and elusive. He kept killing people to gain experience and upgrade. How could he have Tao? Moreover, in the system store, the Taoist connotation was not for sale. Liu Jingning's voice came in again. There are numerous Taos and arts. Everyone has his or her own Tao. Tao could be swords, the spiritual root, fire or water. In ancient times, there was a capable person named Taishang Bai. His Tao of water was invincible in the world. However, all these Taos lead to the way of heaven. After that, the cultivator could break the void and become immortal. Little brat, since you don't have any Tao, how did you reach your current cultivation stage? Zhu Ke fell silent. What is my Tao? Zhu Ke had never considered it before. He'd originally thought killing people as the only way to upgrade. However, now he knew this way was a dead end. He had to participate in cultivation himself. After all, this was the world of cultivators. Another concern occurred to him. As his cultivation stage became higher, the powerhouses he could kill for an upgrade would become fewer and fewer. Maybe when he reached the form synthesis stage and killed all his enemies, his cultivation would end. What should I do to cultivate my Taoist connotation? 
Zhu Ke asked Liu Jingning seriously with a message. Liu Jingning sighed after a short silence. Alas, I'm afraid you, dot, won't be able to cultivate your Taoist connotation. Tao starts to be with the cultivator when cultivation begins. When they reach the infant transformation stage, the cultivator must already know what his or her Tao is. Then, the cultivator will start to cultivate the Tao till the void training stage. The embryonic form of the Taoist connotation can generate. At that time, the cultivator will not perish as long as the Tao is not dead. That's impossible. If a cultivator can't die as long as the Tao is alive, why did they strive for the art of being immortal? Oh, right, I just killed a cultivator at level 1 of the void training stage. Your understanding is incorrect. Your current confusion could explain the meaning. No matter how powerful you are, you as a cultivator at the infant transformation stage, can't kill a cultivator at the void training stage, even if he is seriously wounded. You can kill them only when your Tao is stronger than theirs, or when the combination of your Tao and powerful magic arts can defeat them. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for you to kill them. This is the way of heaven. Liu Jingning paused. As for the cultivator at level 1 of the void training stage you just killed, Maybe his Taoist connotation was too weak, or he had just generated the embryonic form of his Taoist connotation and it hadn't solidified yet. Therefore, you could kill him with magic arts. Actually, this rule is just like knowing wind is there, but being unable to kill wind. When you can create wind with your power, you can use the powerful wind created by you to devour other winds. Zhu Ke fell silent again. He only vaguely understood the meaning of Liu Jingning's words. Also, he knew clearly that a cultivator who reached the void training stage through centuries of cultivation would be far above the one who only upgraded through killing people like him. However, these issues were not important anymore. The most serious problem was that he couldn't cultivate his Taoist connotation. Without the Taoist connotation, how could he kill cultivators at the void training stage? Maybe he could still kill cultivators at the void training stage by enhancing the power of his magic arts. Then, he could kill them with overwhelmingly powerful strength like the kind he'd just displayed. However, this was not the way he wanted. It was humiliating to kill a weakling with his full strength. The key point of acting tough was to kill an enemy at the snap of his fingers. No, I have to cultivate my Tao. Zhu Ke said seriously. Liu Jingning replied with another message. Stop worrying about that. Now those guys are healing their wounds. You must leave with Hong. Rumble. Hardly had Liu Jingning finished her words when a deafening bang came from the sky. With horrible pressure and tsunami-like momentum, numerous billowing thunderclouds flooded in. The momentum of the thunderclouds was more horrible than that of the one million celestial soldiers. Puff. Below the clouds, all powerhouses at the void training stage healing their wounds spat out blood. They looked up at the sky with terrified expressions. Heavenly dot tribulation? Someone said in a shaky voice after swallowing his slobber. How could this be? Isn't. Dot. Zhang Hongyan's heavenly tribulation finished? The 69 heavenly tribulations. Could it be that? Dot. Those celestial soldiers were just the first tribulation? No, let's retreat. Someone shouted. Hearing that, all cultivators at the void training stage started to make a frenzied retreat. Ignoring their wounds, Zuke couldn't kill them for he had no Taoist connotation. The heavenly tribulations represented the power of the heavens, which was the supreme way of heaven. They had been seriously wounded. If they got hit by the heavenly tribulation, they would definitely be turned into tribulation ashes on the spot. Liu Jingning was also stunned. It seemed she hadn't expected the heavenly tribulation to continue. She opened her red lips and murmured in a low voice. The heavens are envious of Hong Yun. Rumble. Suddenly, the thick and inky thunder clouds tore open. The next moment, magnificent golden lightning appeared. The ancient catastrophe. The cultivators recognized it immediately, so they started to cry in terror. Zhu Ke was also stunned. The golden lightning was more horrible than those he'd met in the Five Elements Mountain. Compared to these golden lightnings, those he'd met in the Five Elements Mountain were like ants in front of a giant. This is the real ancient catastrophe. Boom. Another big bang came in from the sky, hurting everyone's eardrums. After that, 
golden lightning poured down like waterfalls, with great momentum, the bolts converged in the sky and formed a great sort of golden lightning, which slashed at Zhang Hongyun sitting on the summit of the mountain. Puff, before the great sort of golden lightning fell, Zhang Hongyun opened her eyes widely, she spat out a mouthful of blood, her extremely beautiful face paled. Finally. I am defeated by the will of heaven. Zhang Hongyun's eyes were dim. With a wan smile on her lips, she closed her eyes. At the same time, the great sword of golden lightning slashed down from the sky as if it were about to lacerate the heavens and earth. At this moment, all voids touched by the great sword of golden lightning were torn apart. Dot. Chapter 619 a sad ending. The golden sword was about to hit Zhang Hongyun. Bang! All of sudden, the void around her rippled. Dot. The golden lightning sword hit Zhang Hongyun's ice shield. In just a few seconds, the ice shield, which she spent around an hour making, cracked and crumbled into pieces. The golden sword continued to fall. Dot. Seeing this, everyone was stunned. Zhang Hongyun seemed destined to die this time. Dot. Bang! Zuke quickly ran toward her and used his hands to stop the sword. He spit out blood and his face immediately turned pale. Dot. Zuke, you! Zhang Hongyun opened her eyes and could not believe what she saw. Zuke, who looked extremely slim, was stopping the golden sword from falling further with his hands. Although Zuke was in great pain and his face was as white as a sheet. He still manages to smile. He looked at Hong Yun calmly. Don't be afraid, I'm here. This F King tribulation is nothing. Dot. All the cultivators were speechless. He. Dot. He stopped the golden lightning. My goodness. This is the ancient tribulation. This young man is really just in the infant transformation stage. Zhao Munan said with a serious face. Well done. But face shouted. Hurry up. Kill him. Hearing this. All the cultivators were stunned. You're his pet, and you want the golden sword to kill your own master, Buttface. You want me to hit you again? Zuke spat with a glare. Oops, I'm sorry, Buttface said hurriedly. I mean, kill the golden sword. He activated his god of hell's compulsion as well as the self-healing mechanism of the system. All his energy erupted. Dot. Stop. Zuke shouted aloud and managed to lift the golden sword. The lightning appeared right beneath his feet, he jumped up and pushed the golden sword into the air. However, the sword was too heavy, and Zuke could not hold it long by himself. As soon as he pushed it a bit away, it began to fall again. Zuke, break it! Buttface shouted. I remember that it's not unbreakable. Zuke quickly took out his dark heavy buster sword and together with the inscription of the killer sword, hit the golden sword. Bang! The sword cracked like a mirror, creating a huge amount of energy. Zuke was thrown out by the shock wave and the dark heavy buster sword in his hand disintegrated. His arms were covered in wounds and his bones broke as well. His flesh became penetrated by his broken bones, which looked extremely terrifying. Are you okay? Buttface hurriedly dashed over and held Zuke. He had never seen him like this before. Both of Zuke's arms were broken, even the bones in his chest were broken. Dot. Zuke was bleeding like crazy and his breathing was getting weaker and weaker. FCK. Zuke, wake up. Buttface was terrified and had no idea what to do. Little KK. Dot. Liu Jingning covered her mouth. Things were happening too fast. She thought Zuke would be able to run away together with Zhang Hongyun. She hadn't expected the power of the tribulation would be this enormous. Seeing this, the other cultivators all sneered. He deserves this. I think he should die in a more severe way. Bailing Louis sneered. What a pity. He was such an interesting person. Zhao Taixuan shook his head, feeling genuinely sorry. Bang. The thunder tribulation was not over yet. Another lightning was forming. Dot. Jingning, take, dot, him, dot, away, dot. A weak voice echoed. They all turned around to find Zhang Hongyun fixed on a huge rock by a piece of the golden sword. Her chest had been penetrated by the piece, and it looked like she had also been severely injured. She was dying, but even so, 
she still managed to use her strength to ask Liu Jingning to take Zhu Ke away. The ancient tribulation is really something. A talented holy virgin like Zhang Hanyan can not even stand a piece of the golden sword. Dot. Bei Ling Lui sneered. She was very happy to see Zhang Hanyan badly injured. She still fails to stand the thunder tribulation anyway. Dot. That young man has already done everything he could do. If heaven is determined to take her life away, no one can stop it. Zhao Taixuan shook his head and worriedly looked at the sky. Many holy sons and holy virgins lowered their heads and felt very depressed. They were not feeling sorry for Zhang Hongyan. Instead, they felt like their existence was nothing compared to the sky. The road to immortality was so long so long that it seemed impossible to reach the end. The power of heaven was so powerful, so powerful that it seemed impossible to be as powerful as it was. Where on earth is the end of cultivation? Dot. Chapter 620, Come and Punch Me, Let Me Help You. At this moment, a tender but determined voice could be heard. When people came to themselves, they found it was Liu Jingning who had responded to Zhang Hongyan. Liu Jingning lowered her body and was about to rush to Zhu Ke for help. The elders of the Utopia faction changed their expressions and tried to persuade Liu Jingning as they blocked her way immediately. Holy Virgin, please don't act rashly. If you rescue that young man, the Utopia faction will be treated as his allies. Back off. Liu Jingning said coldly with a chilly expression. The elders lowered their heads but didn't step backwards. Please forgive our disobedience. The young man is about to die. It's really unnecessary for you to put the Utopia faction at risk for a dying man. I won't say it a third time. Now back off. Liu Jingning said in a freezing cold voice. Killing intent was gushing out from her eyes. The renowned she devil was becoming more furious with a frightening momentum. Anyone. Even those of the Utopia faction, who stood in her way would be killed. Many people in this area were shocked. Even holy sons and holy virgins like Zhao Munan became serious. That's why she's the she-devil. Her strength is remarkable. Zhao Taixun said calmly with squinted eyes. I used to fight with her before I went to the blood-devouring abyss, and we held each other to a draw. I still don't think I could defeat her, even now. Zhao Munan said seriously, that's quite normal. I heard that the fight against the Holy Virgin in the Utopia faction was quite bloody. She became the ultimate winner after killing over 100 fellow apprentices. He <laughs> he, that's an understatement. The Utopia faction's Holy Son planned to lay hands on her. However, she killed the Holy Son when he began to speak but still hadn't taken action. His head was hung outside the door of the Utopia faction's main hall. Their faction leader turned a blind eye to the issue, which was settled by leaving it unsettled. I didn't expect such a she-devil to be able to maintain her friendship with Zhang Hongyan. When we were young, their relationship was quite good. Many holy sons and holy virgins started to exclaim when they remembered their childhoods. Only Bei Ling Rui, the holy virgin of the Bei family, had a dark expression on her face at this moment, for she felt like she was being slapped by the others. In those years, Zhang Hongyan's best friend had definitely been Bei Ling Rui. However, now she regarded Zhang Hongyan as her sworn enemy. Liu Jingning still maintained her friendship with Zhang Hongyan, which made Bei Ling Rui furious. At this moment, the elders of the Utopia faction had sensed the killing intent of their holy virgin, making their faces were quite gloomy. As a matter of fact, they knew clearly that although they could match Liu Jingning in cultivation stage, they had been entirely suppressed by Liu Jingning's momentum at that moment. Holy Virgin, I hope you have a good explanation for our faction leader. An elder sighed and finally made way for her. Liu Jingning didn't reply, just flew directly towards Zhu Ke like a phantom. At just that moment, Buttface was standing beside Zhu Ke and said anxiously, Little brat, run for your life using that spell. I won't escape and will guard the rear this time. I, I'm okay. Zhu Ke said feebly. The automatic recovery function was running. However, his wounds were so serious that he couldn't heal them immediately. After all, it was the automatic recovery provided by the system, which was a far cry from the arts of being immortal, let alone the secret of people among the nine secrets which could ensure a cultivator's rebirth even if they only had one drop of blood left. 
Holy SHT, how can you say you're okay in such a miserable condition? This is the first time for me to see a guy being penetrated by his own bones. Howl, I can't watch this anymore. Just run for your life. Buttface urged, rumble. A loud sound came from the sky again. The sky and earth were depressed by the magnificent power of the heavens. The heavenly tribulation, which was even more powerful than before, was coming. At this moment, Zuke said feebly, Buttface, come. And punch me. What? Buttface widened his eyes immediately and doubted whether he had heard Zuke right. The rest of the people in the area also paid close attention to Zuke including Liu Jingning, who had just arrived. Hearing Zhu Kei's words, all of them were stunned on the spot. What the hell? Why would he ask another to punch him in such a miserable condition? Could it be that he can't endure the pain and wants a quick death? Are you insane? I'll definitely punch you to death. Buttface said in surprise. With blood flowing from his mouth and shaking his head, Zhu Kei said, Don't worry, just punch me. Punch me in the chest and it'll be a first aid method to keep me alive. SHT, what the hell kind of first aid method is this? No, I don't want to kill you. Buttface rejected directly, for he thought Zhu Ke just wanted a quick death. Liu Jingning came up and said in a low deadpan, Don't speak, follow me. Don't touch me. I'm warning you, don't touch me unless you're willing to punch me. Zhu Ke said while struggling. Liu Jingning frowned and said coldly, are you really going to act so mischievous now? Zhang Hanyan is about to die. Do you want to die with her? Rumble. A dazzling golden lightning flashed over the sky and lit up the whole area, which was covered by black clouds. Zhu Kei found Liu Jingning's eyes were red and wet. He was stunned, but he knew clearly that the heavenly tribulation was coming, so he urged hurriedly, I won't die and Zhang Hongyan also won't die. Just punch the bones back into my body. Hurry, punch the bones back? Buttface was totally shocked and widened his eyes. Liu Jingning was also surprised. Apparently, she hadn't expected Zhu Kei to ask him to punch the broken bones back into his body. Gasp, hearing Zhu Kei's words, everyone in the area couldn't help gasping. He's being way too cruel to himself. If that many broken bones are to be punched back into his body, he will suffer a torture that'll be more painful than death. Many people felt their blood freeze, for they really couldn't imagine that pain. Moreover, even if those broken bones were punched back into his body, nothing would change. All the bones were fractured and broken. After being punched back into his body, the bones could only smash his internal organs. What is he going to do? Why is he choosing to die in such a painful way? At this moment, people were quite clear that Zhu Kei hadn't acquired the legendary art of being immortal, otherwise, he would have been fully healed instead of being so miserable. What is his plan? Is he really trying to heal his wounds? Someone frowned and asked confusedly as he didn't understand Zhu Kei's demand. That's impossible. Except for the arts of being immortal, no arts in this world could heal people that effectively. If he has the art of being immortal, he would have been completely healed now. Dong Zhenji was a mess. His private parts were still hurting, so while clenching his teeth, he sneered. Hey, he just wants to die decently. Being stunned by his words, People couldn't help nodding. It seemed that Dong Zhenji's words had been quite persuasive. At that moment, Zhu Kei had so many broken bones sticking out of his body, making him look quite horrible and ugly. Buttface, what are you waiting for? Just punch me. Zhu Kei looked at Buttface and shouted, clenching his teeth. He knew clearly that he would need 10 days to half a month to heal himself through the automatic recovery function of the system. Unless the broken bones could be hit back into his body, even if the bones were totally broken, the system wouldn't be able to heal him. Of course, he had to endure great pain and torment. However, a more powerful heavenly tribulation was pending. If he couldn't recover, Zhang Hongyan would definitely turn into tribulation ashes. He would never accept the fact that another woman he loved had died in front of him. Buttface, just do it. Zhu Kei said indubitably and glanced at Buttface, Chapter 621, Rival of the Thunder Tribulation. Fine, I will do it. Buttface stared at Zhu Kei and became very determined. Then, he punched his chest. Stop. 
Liu Jingning screamed, bang, Zhu Kei spit out blood, dot. Some of the protruded bones were broken, some were back in Zhu Kei's body, and all of his internal organs had ruptured. He was almost dead. The self-healing mechanism of the system began to work quickly, the bones back in his body began to grow again, and his organs also started to heal. This feels really good. Zhu Kei suddenly shouted. Soon, he managed to regain much of his strength. But face, hit my left arm this time. Hearing this, everyone present was surprised. What's going on? Punched and the next minute, he recovers. Impossible. Could a dog's punch heal people's wound? This. Dot. Liu Jingning's brain failed to comprehend what she saw. But face got very excited and hit Zhu Kei's left arm. Ouch. In just a few seconds. All the protruding bones were back in Zhu Kei's body. Although this process was very painful, his inner wounds were luckily gone. This dog is effing great. His punch can heal a person's wounds. So if I ask him to punch me, my wounds will also be gone? Why don't I ask the dog to punch me? Dot. Some cultivators turned their heads to butt face. Bang. Another lightning bolt struck. This time. The golden lightning was even more outrageous. The sound was so loud that many cultivators' chests compressed in pain. The entire sky was covered by bolts of intertwining golden lightning. All of a sudden, it changed into four golden swords. The swords tore up the void and were about to hit Zhang Hongyun again. Zhang Hongyun was dying, and her breathing was getting weaker and weaker. He is fine. Dot. Zhang Hongyun was relieved and smiled. She could feel that the swords were about to come. Suddenly she felt a bit sorry and nostalgic. In the end, after all, I can never contradict the heavens. Dot. Goodbye, Zhu Kei. It was nice to meet you back in the Five Elements Mountain. She closed her eyes. Dot. The swords didn't stop and hit Zhang Hongyun. Zhang Hongyun is dead. Bailing Lui sneered. Liu Jingning's body trembled. Hong Yun. Dot. Right at this moment, everyone was looking at Zhang Hong Yun. Suddenly, Zhu Kei moved as quickly as the lightning toward Zhang Hong Yun. He hurriedly practiced many inscriptions the Fantasy Killing Seal, the Heavenly Thunder Seal, and the Void Annihilation Seal. A huge amount of spiritual chi gathered together from around. The three seals all appeared together and blocked the four golden swords. Bang, bang, bang. The swords broke the seals, but their light dimmed a bit. Stop. Zhu Kei summoned his dark heavy buster sword and hit the swords. Bang. The four swords fell into pieces, and golden light brightened the whole world. The earth began to shake heavily, creating many deep valleys. Countless mountains and rivers disappeared. Dot. Zhang Hongyun was protected by a light shield and was still intact. Seeing this, everyone was stunned. He destroyed another four swords. How did he do it? He is indeed the rival of the Thunder Tribulation. Buttface shouted. All the holy sons and holy virgins were stunned. Just a few minutes ago, he was almost dead. He'd now recovered after being punched by Buttface. Besides, he still managed to exert his power. Even so. I don't think he's still alive. Dot. He can't possibly be alive. All the cultivators looked at the sky filled with golden light, trying to find out where Zhu Kei was. However, they failed to do so. I knew it. Even if he managed to destroy the four swords, he must have been burned to ashes. If he had lived, I think in just a few years he would have grown to be an outstanding holy son. Zhao Munan felt very sorry. He's really stupid. He died just to save a woman. Zhao Taixuan said, I have to admit that Zhang Hongyun got herself a good disciple. Kenji said, Even so, now that that young man is dead, Zhang Hongyun is also going to die soon. Bei Ling Lui sneered and stared at the mountain where Zhang Hongyun was. Bang! Suddenly, Zhu Kei appeared from afar and started flying toward them. Seeing this, Everyone was completely stunned. No way. He's still alive? Dot. With everyone watching in surprise, Zhu Kei slowly landed in front of Zhang Hongyun. He took out a blue pill and put it in her mouth. The core strength inside her body grew extremely powerful and her body began to recover. She slowly opened her eyes and was surprised to see Zhu Kei standing in front of her as well as the pouring golden lightning behind him. I'm still alive? Of course you are. 
Zhu Kei smiled. Seeing her beautiful face, Zhu Kei could not help but gently touch her nose with his hand. I told you I'll never ever let anyone or anything kill you, not even the heavens. Zhu Kei spoke gently, and his voice was full of love. Zhang Hongyun was stunned, so were the rest of cultivators. What did he say just now? He's not a disciple of Zhang Hongyun? Holy SHT. When realizing the relationship between Zhang Hongyun and Zhu Kei was actually very close, Dong Junji became furious. He was so angry that the veins in his face swelled and his eyes turned red. The thundercloud started to disperse and the sunlight shed to the ground through the clouds. Zhang Hongyun had gone through her thunder tribulation. Right at this moment, Zhu Kei flew up into the sky, while holding his dark heavy buster sword. F King Thunder Tribulation, Come Back, Chapter 622, Why Are They So Explosion Proof? Boom! The magnificent inky thunder clouds were dissipating. Zhu Kei dashed out like an arrow stepping on the lightning to chase the thunder clouds. A black halo was wrapping around the dark heavy buster sword in his hand, which was full of magnificent true core strength. He used the flame devouring wave by abruptly slashing the sword down in the air. Rumble. The thunder clouds were split into two groups. The lightning in the clouds was also smashed by the sword, which created deafening booms, as if the lightning was growling angrily. After that, a cloud of dazzling golden light lit up the sky like the sun. The entire sky was covered by the golden light with formidable momentum. Everyone in the area was totally shocked. They looked at the scene with widened eyes full of terror, and their jaws almost dropped. What the hell is going on? After much trouble, they finally crossed the heavenly tribulation, and the thunder clouds dissipated. Instead of being thankful for escaping death by a great catastrophe, this guy chose to chase the heavenly tribulation. He is as stubborn as a dog. How could such a stubborn man exist in this world? He kept provoking the heavens. Is he really going to ask for death? Rumble. At this moment, the sky had become ruthless and tyrannical. The intertwining golden lightning had been turned into a golden sea that covered the entire sky. The restless lightning was just like high waves in the sea, surging forward with a deafening roar. The next moment, all the golden waves converged and formed great swords hanging in the sky. For an instant, the quantity of the golden swords exceeded 100. Formidable pressure was gushing out from these swords in an instant. Gasp! Countless people in this area couldn't help gasping with colorless faces filled with terror. Over 100 golden great swords. No one will survive that. Just now. One golden great sword almost killed Zhu Kei and Zhang Hongyun. I'm afraid half of the East Continent will be destroyed if over 100 golden great swords descend. Zhao Taixuan opened his mouth slightly and said seriously, This time, this guy is doomed. The heavens have been annoyed by his behavior. Zhao Munan also frowned. The heavenly tribulation is finished. Did he lose his mind to provoke the thunderclouds? Is he really planning to die here? Kenji. The Holy Virgin of the Illusionary Flower and Moon Sect, was staring at Zhu Kei speechlessly. Her eyes were full of confusion. Hey, what an arrogant guy. He muddled through the heavenly tribulation just now, so he thought he was terrific. He'll definitely pay the price for his arrogance. Bei Lingru E, the Holy Virgin of the Bei family, sneered sarcastically. Most people were shaking their heads and thought Zhu Kei had been too arrogant this time. Why did he act so arrogantly after crossing the heavenly tribulation safely? Now, the heavens are annoyed and throwing out lightning. This time, he's facing certain death. Howl, little brat, nicely done. Come on, if you can pierce the heavens, I'll admit you're invincible. Buttface shouted loudly. As an onlooker, he was anxious to see the world in disorder. Liu Jingning stared at Buttface and said, You shut up. This guy has lost his mind due to fury. Hong Yin, why don't you call him back? She looked at Zhang Hong Yin, for she knew Zhu Kei would obey Zhang Hong Yin's instructions. However, Zhang Hong Yin said nothing with a faint smile and shook her head calmly. Buttface snorted proudly. You know nothing. This isn't the first time for him to do this. Don't worry. What? Liu Jingning was stunned immediately. Not the first time, could it be that? He's chased the heavenly tribulation before? Liu Jingning turned around and looked at Zhu Kei in the sky in astonishment, 
as if she was looking at a monster. Dot. At the same time, Zuke was standing in the sky with the dark heavy buster sword in hand. With his robe flapping in the wind, his momentum was quite overbearing. In front of the formidable pressure of the golden lightning, his momentum was even stronger. Like a lonely warrior who had held back 10,000 enemies, he was extremely magnificent at this moment. No one can flee after acting tough in front of me, even if you are the so-called ancient catastrophe. Because, here Zuke paused a bit and raised the dark heavy buster sword in his hand. Then he dashed towards the golden great swords directly by stepping on a cloud of lightning with void shaking momentum. Meanwhile, he shouted, because I will be the ultimate king of tough acting. Die, be stirred. Rumble. Amid his roar, the dark heavy buster sword hit the first golden great sword abruptly and created a deafening bang. The first sword exploded instantly. The broken golden lightning and violent energy swept out in ripples and bombarded the rest of the golden great swords. Boom, boom, boom. The golden great swords exploded one after another like falling dominoes. The sky in this area was twisted by the explosions. A fracture even appeared in the sky. The explosions were earth-shaking, creating dazzling lights that overflowed everywhere. The entire sky was torn apart by the explosions, like it was the arrival of the apocalypse. Everyone in the area was dumbfounded. None of them had expected that Zuke could fight those great swords like this. He had focused his power on smashing one golden great sword and the resulting explosion destroyed the rest of the swords. However, even if he could destroy all those golden great swords, he still couldn't escape from his certain death. No one could survive such formidable explosions, even the powerhouses in the form synthesis stage. Whoosh! At this moment, a booming sound could be heard from afar. A figure rushed over by stepping on lightning. Before people watching had time to make out his appearance, some of the golden great swords that hadn't been damaged by the explosions charged at him directly by penetrating the void with the power of the heavens. SHT, there's more here. Come on, let's fight until dawn. When he finished his words, the dark heavy buster sword appeared in his hand, then he rushed towards the golden great swords again. Rumble, another golden great sword exploded. Its explosion set off a chain reaction for the rest of the golden great swords which exploded one after another like fireworks. Whoosh! After several breaths, a familiar figure rushed over from another direction. Damn, why are they so explosion-proof? After saying that, he took out the dark heavy buster sword and charged towards the rest golden great swords. Beast urds, why are you so troublesome? Rumble. The explosions kept sounding. Everyone was already been totally confused and dumbfounded. Finally, they made out that the one who kept coming in from different directions was Zuke. They didn't understand how he disappeared when the Golden Great Swords exploded and then came back again to smash the Golden Great Swords again. The whole process was just like a kid running away after lighting the fuse of a firecracker. His shameless method stunned everyone. SHT. I almost forgot he has a spell he could use to escape after hitting the golden great swords. The heavenly tribulation couldn't hurt him at all. An elder of the Gong family shouted at this moment as he remembered something. Zhao Taixuan and the others who had witnessed Zuke's fight in the Bright Moon Hotel saw the light suddenly for they remembered Zuke had a kind of spell that could help him escape by tearing the void apart. Suddenly, Bei Lingru E, the holy virgin of the Bei family snorted, HMPH, that's nothing to me, I'll give him a lesson today by showing him the untouchable power of the heavens. Then she raised her hand, and her fingertips started to glow. The next moment, she created a lotus seal with one hand and pointed at Zuke with the other hand. Boom. All of a sudden, a dull sound was heard from the sky. The clouds were pushed aside, and an enormous azure lotus appeared. Then the lotus bloomed, and a giant finger poked down towards Zuke's head like the finger of a celestial being. Zuke changed his expression abruptly and stepped back hurriedly. Then, he said in terror, Damn. R. Are you baby? SHT. Calm down, please don't jab me. Chapter 623, First One Punched. The last batch of golden swords in the sky had been smashed by Zuke. The deafening explosion echoed all around. Countless golden lightning bolts, which had been smashed, 
were dissipating in the sky. However, the magic heart used by Bei Ling Rui had turned into an enormous finger, which was pressing down toward Zhu Ke as if it were about to smash an ant. Zhu Ke screamed as if confronting a formidable enemy. Don't jab me, Bei Bei. His movements were so fast that he easily evaded the startling finger. After that, he ignited the divine escape spell in his hand and disappeared immediately. Everyone was shocked. How could this be? That's the mysterious finger move of the Azure Lotus treasure appraisal art, which could seal the void. Nobody could possibly escape it. Many people were startled, even a lot of holy sons and holy virgins were shocked. They knew about this magic art of Bei Ling Rui which originated from the Azure Lotus treasure appraisal art. And the name of this magic art was Azure Lotus Finger. Although it was not a powerful magic art, even they couldn't guarantee they could escape it. But now, that guy who could remain calm in front of the horrible heavenly tribulations managed to evade that finger instantly, while screaming in terror. Zhu Ke's action confused all the onlookers. Since he could evade the attack easily, why did he react with such panic? as if he had been attacked by a horrible magic art. Is he insane? Bei Ling Rui's face also darkened. She thought she could capture Zhu Ke with her magic art so that he would be killed by the explosion of those golden swords. But it turned out that she'd failed again. That guy evaded the Azure Lotus finger easily with a panicked expression. He even called her by the wrong name. For Bei Ling Rui, Zhu Ke was mocking her deliberately. Whoosh. Soon, Zhu Ke who had just left with the divine escape spell, anxiously returned. Along with the dissipating golden lightning in the sky, the heavenly tribulation had finished. Zhang Hongyun had also been saved. Now Zhu Ke could relax. He decided to punish the holy sons, holy virgins, and powerhouses from the big families and sects. Rushing over from afar, Zhu Ke saw Bei Ling Rui immediately, so he solemnly said, Bei Bei, you can speak your mind freely. But please don't jab me again. If you want to jab someone, Dong Zhenji is the best candidate. Dong Zhenji's lips twitched. He was quite furious but he had to maintain his gentle appearance in front of Zhang Hongyun. So he restrained his anger and said nothing. Zhu Ke's words made Bei Ling Rui tremble with rage. Her face darkened. Mind your tongue? She scolded angrily. I am Bei Ling Rui. The Holy Virgin of the Bay family. I am not Bay Bay. If you continue to talk rubbish, I will make you lose the will to live. Puff, stop pretending to be innocent. In this world, only Bay Bay could use such a powerful one finger zen. You said you are not Bay Bay. Can you prove that? Zhu Ke asked dubiously. You. Bei Ling Rui was so angry that she started to tremble again as she stared at Zhu Ke furiously. However, she didn't know how to reply. As the noble holy virgin, she didn't need to prove she was not Bei Bei. Someone dared asked her to prove that. This was totally absurd. The onlookers were also speechless. Why should she prove that? Is it really necessary? You're really impudent. This little brat is really good at teasing others. However, dot. Who was Bei Bei? It sounds like the name of a lady. Liu Jingning smiled also relaxing after Zhu Ke had narrowly beaten the heavenly tribulation. When she said that, she glanced over at Zhang Hongyun. Whether Liu Jingning realized she was doing it or not, she wanted to tease the other woman by raising the question of whether or not Zhu Ke knew too many women. Zhang Hongyun said nothing as she sat on the ground, crossing her legs as if she heard nothing. She was running her true core strength to heal her wounds. This time Buttface stepped forward to speak for Zhu Ke. He patted his chest and said, I can ensure with my experience and wolfality that this guy doesn't know Bei Bei. He only knows a beautiful sect leader whose name is Su Yanlin. Oh, he also knows Madame Ya, who is a pretty lady. And he knows a valiant and heroic female general whose name is Si Chu Hai Tang. Oh, Oh, he also knows Su Linger and Su Ziaki, who are two sisters of the nine-tailed demon fox tribe. His words shocked Liu Jingning immediately. She had meant to tease Zhang Hongyun, but she never expected Buttface to disclose so much precious information by mentioning the names of five different women. My god, this guy really has a lot of female companions. Liu Jingning said with a faint smile on her face as she glanced at Zhang Hongyun again. However, 
Zhang Hanyan was still healing her wounds with her eyes closed tightly. Her expression did not change at all. It seemed either she hadn't heard anything or she didn't care about what she had heard. Zhu Ke was slowly landing from the sky and staring at Bei Ling Rui vigilantly. His expression seemed to be warning Bei Ling Rui something along the lines of don't jab me which almost drove Bei Ling Rui crazy. The powerhouses of the families and sex frowned. They really wanted to take down Zhu Ke and kill Zhang Hongyun. However, after witnessing Zhu Ke's measures to fight against the heavenly tribulations, many people hesitated. They didn't worry about Zhu Ke killing them, but Zhu Ke's teleportation spell bothered them. Unless they could prevent Zhu Ke from escaping, they wouldn't attack him easily. After all, their attack would make Zhu Ke harbor more resentment in his heart, and he would seek revenge on them in the future. What should we do? Should we just let him go? An elder of the Zhang family asked, furrowing his eyebrows as he looked at Zhang Yashu. Zhang Yashu's face was quite gloomy, just like the powerhouses of the other big families and sects. This time not only the Zhang family, but also almost all the big families and sects had suffered great losses. Except for members of the Heaven Secret Pavilion and the Utopia faction, only cultivators at the void training stage of the families and sex had survived. All the other cultivators at the infant transformation stage and lower stages had been killed by Zhu Ke. They had to make Zhu Ke answer for that, otherwise, they would become the laughing stocks of the entire East Continent in a matter of days. Also, they were eager to get Zhu Ke's precious items. Everyone knew Zhu Ke had the Celestial Emperor's arts. Even if he didn't have that, his spells, which granted him the power of teleportation, were attractive enough for all of them. I have the feeling that he cares about Zhang Hongyun very much. Maybe we could take down Zhang Hongyun first. With Zhang Hongyun as a hostage, we could capture Zhu Ke without a fight. A powerhouse murmured in a low voice. Someone shook his head immediately. It definitely would not be easy taking down Zhang Hongyun. Now she has crossed her heavenly tribulations successfully and reached the void training stage. Her strength has been enhanced remarkably. Also, our wounds are still not healed. I'm afraid we can't capture her easily. Right. As for healing our wounds, maybe we could. Dot. A powerhouse's eyes lit up as he looked at Buttface eagerly. Many people around him also remembered Zhu Ke's wounds had been healed rapidly after he'd been punched by Buttface. After that, the powerhouses of the big families and sex sealed the area where they were with their soul strength and started to chat by sending messages. Even some holy sons and holy virgins participated in the discussion, including Bei Lingru E of the Bei family. However, Zhao Munan. The holy son of the heavenly demon sect, Zhao Taixuan, the holy son of the Eight Directions Green Dragon sect, and Qin Ji, the holy virgin of the illusionary flower and moon sect, didn't participate in the discussion. It was not because they were soft-hearted. They were so proud and arrogant that they disdained the thought of healing their wounds by being punched by a dog. Alas, in front of such an opportunity, shame is not that big a deal. Powerhouses of several families and sects were trying to persuade their holy sons and holy virgins to join them. However, these holy sons and holy virgins remained cold-faced and didn't respond. This method was too low for them. At last, the powerhouses of the big families and sects agreed on capturing Buttface first. Then, they would force Buttface to punch them to heal their wounds so that they could have the strength to capture Zhang Hongyun and use her as a hostage to intimidate Zhu Ke. Building Head Dong, what do you think? Do you want to join us? Zhang Yashu asked, looking at Dong Zhenji at this time. A lot of powerhouses of the Carefree Building were here. With their participation, the probability of success would be even higher. Several geniuses of the Carefree Building also tossed their eyes at Dong Zhenji, for them. Dong Junji was the backbone of the community. Everything was better when arranged by Dong Junji. Dong Junji smiled and spoke in high, vigorous spirits. The carefree building will definitely take part in the action. However, I have a condition, which is dot. I want to be the first one to get punched by that dog. Chapter 624. Do you want to buy Buttface? You want to be the first one beaten by the dog? All the powerhouses from the big families and sex frowned, 
embarrassed by Dong Zhenji's requirement. After all, everyone wanted to be the first. The main reason was that they were seriously wounded, and their wounds wouldn't heal quickly. Also, they were in quite a messy situation. Their wounds had been inflicted by a young man in the infant transformation stage, which humiliated them. Now they had a chance to heal their wounds rapidly. They could heal all their wounds as long as they were beaten up by that dog. The first one to be beaten would be the first one to heal. All of them were eager to regain strength. However, this time a lot of geniuses from the Carefree building were present. Most of them were as powerful as the holy sons and holy virgins of the big families and sects, some of them even more so. Their plan was to threaten Zuke by holding Zhang Hongyun hostage. So they needed people to defeat Zhang Hongyun first. After a short negotiation, the powerhouses of the big families and sects agreed to Dong Zhenji's requirement at last. After that, they stepped out slowly and spread out to approach Buttface, some intentionally and others unintentionally. They planned to capture Buttface without startling Zhang Hongyun and Zhu Ke. Of course, if possible. They would prefer to just capture Zhu Ke or Zhang Hongyun directly. The Heaven Secret Pavilion and the Utopia faction still wouldn't participate in their plan. Han Ying, the Holy Virgin of the Heaven Secret Pavilion, thought it was unnecessary to take the risk and make an enemy out of Zhu Ke. She had decided to do her best to make up with Zhu Ke in the future. Therefore, she quit voluntarily. The Utopia faction had been excluded by the big families and sects. Everyone could see clearly that Liu Jingning had quite a good relationship with Zhang Hongyun and Zhu Ke. If the Utopia faction participated in the other's plan, their own plan might be disclosed. However, no matter how careful they were, they couldn't avoid attracting Zhu Ke and Zhang Hongyun's attention. Even the foolish buttface had sensed something was wrong. So he came to Zhu Ke and said vigilantly in a low voice, Little brat, I have a bad feeling. They're about to attack. Hurry, give me hundreds of your escape spells and I'll ensure your safety. Zhu Ke was amused by Buttface immediately. If I take out hundreds of divine escape spells, how could I need you to ensure my safety? However, he didn't plan to escape. On the contrary, he decided to have a good time with these people. Even he couldn't kill them. He would give them a lesson. The powerhouses of the big families and sects also knew their plan wasn't perfect. They would definitely startle Zhu Ke if they planned to attack. Now, the arrow had been put on the string, and they had to launch the attack. They would rather launch an attack that was destined to fail than let Zhu Ke and Zhang Hongyun go. Hurry, they've stepped up their vigilance. Let's try to spread out to seal off the area 30 miles around here. I'm guessing the effective range of that guy's escape spells couldn't exceed 30 miles. Zhang Yashu delivered a message to the rest of the cultivators. Just at that moment, Zhu Ke stepped out suddenly and shouted, My fellow cultivators, out of blows. Friendship grows. We're friends now. Anything could be negotiated among us. I still have the smelly tofu and the miraculous item that can look through ancient stones. If you want, you can purchase them with spirit stones. Hearing his words, everyone was stunned. What the hell? We're going to surround you and take you down. Are you still trying to do business with us? Please note that our exploding heavens faction has no lack of miraculous items but we are short of spirit stones. Therefore, we'd like to trade our miraculous items with you. However, if you're going to rob me, I guarantee you will get nothing, and you will never have the chance to purchase miraculous items from me, whether I go to the South Continent, the West Desert, or the North Sea. Zhu Ke spoke again. Hearing that, the cultivators stopped. Zhang Yashu also delivered a message hurriedly to the rest cultivators. Everyone. Stop. Let's hold off on the attack for a while. He believed Zhu Ke could actually escape and leave them empty-handed. Otherwise, with so many powerhouses at the void training stage, they wouldn't need to work out such a careful plan. At the beginning, they had thought Zhu Ke would die fighting. They hadn't expected Zhu Ke to be so ambitious as to do business with them at this moment. However, for them, this was the better option. In the world of cultivators, no one could purchase miraculous items with spirit stones. Those who had miraculous items would always keep them secret. Only a fool would trade miraculous items for spirit stones, 
But now a fool had appeared. Zuke was seriously going to sell his miraculous items. There could be only two possibilities. He was in extreme need of spirit stones, or he had a plan. However, people were inclined to believe the first possibility. They thought Zuke was from the Exploding Heavens faction, a small unknown faction that was developing and needed a lot of spirit stones. They didn't worry about any of Zuke's possible conspiracies. None of them were foolish, otherwise, they would never have gained their current statuses and strength. They were confident enough to believe they wouldn't be cheated in this business transaction, although they had been cheated by Zuke before. Moreover, many powerhouses of the big families and sects had witnessed the power of Zuke's miraculous items. For example, some who had purchased smelly tofu during the stone cutting convention had brought it back home with them. The members of their families or sects who were even stronger than them had verified the effects of the smelly tofu. Therefore, the sale of the smelly tofu had been successful for them. Based on this successful case, people were inclined to believe Zuke was merely in dire need of spirit stones. My young friend, this way. You can sell your Celestial Emperor's arts and the rest of your magic arts. We'll offer you a satisfactory price. Zhang Yashu said after pondering for a while. He thought it was worthwhile to try. It would certainly be good news for them if they could conclude a business deal. If not, they could still find a way to take Zuke down. Zuke shook his head with a smile. I don't have the Celestial Emperor's arts. Didn't you notice that although my magic arts were powerful, they didn't have any Taoist connotation. The reason is that these magic arts are defective. If I use them, I can't merge any Taoist connotation in them. Hearing that, Zhang Yashu and the other cultivators' faces darkened. They didn't believe Zuke's words, for the Taoist connotation had nothing to do with magic arts. The so-called Taoist connotation was merged with true core strength and soul strength as well as the body of a cultivator. Any movement a cultivator made had Taoist connotation. Therefore, when a cultivator used any magic cart, true core strength and soul strength would be used, and the Taoist connotation would also be merged in all moves of magic carts. Zuke knew nothing about the Taoist connotation, so he had just described it with briefly. However, his nonsense reassured many people. Zhang Yashu had never expected Zuke would sell the Celestial Emperor's arts. If Zuke had really wanted to sell them, Zhang Yashu would actually have been suspicious. Now, Zuke was refusing to sell the Celestial Emperor's arts with such a lame excuse, which reassured Zhang Yashu. He had more faith that Zuke was sincerely in need of spirit stones. He thought over it a bit and said indifferently, My young friend, if you're so insincere, it'll be very difficult for us to do business. How about this? Since you don't want to sell the Celestial Emperor's arts, let's talk about the demonic beast beside you. How much is it? We want to buy it. Buy the demonic beast? Zuke was shocked after hearing this. Holy SHT. They even want to buy Botface. Chapter 625 colon The Sudden Change of Desolation City Zuke was a bit confused. He knew Buttface was a dog with an extraordinary history. Maybe Buttface was really the descendant of the ancient magic dragons. However, this information was solely based on the boast of Buttface, of which the authenticity was difficult to verify. Moreover, Buttface hadn't revealed any unusual talents until now. His physique was extremely strong and he knew something about spells, but that was all. So why did these people target Buttface and want to buy him? Could it be that they knew Buttface's background? Zuke looked at Zhang Yashu suspiciously. However, before Zuke had time to say something, Buttface went crazy. SHT, you're just a bunch of scums to me not even qualified to be my pet. How dare you say you want to buy me? Buttface spat directly at Zhang Yashu after finishing. Zhang Yashu's face immediately fell and he snorted. Buttface's saliva was blocked midair and fell to the ground dozens of centimeters away from Zhang Yashu. My young friend, it seems your pet is quite edgy. Zhang Yashu said, looking at Zuke coldly. If he didn't think highly of Buttface's miraculous healing skills, he would have already tried to kill him. Zuke replied with a faint smile. Now he was surrounded by powerhouses of most of the big families and sects, but he didn't mind. With the divine escape spell in his hand, 
he could leave with Zhang Hongyun when things went south. Your eyes are really quite shrewd for noticing buttface, Zhu Kei said, but he shook his head. However, it is a pity that I can't sell him because he is too precious. He couldn't directly ask them why they wanted to buy buttface, so he had to carefully probe the situation with his words. Zhang Yashu was not puzzled by Zhu Kei's words. On the contrary, he thought it was quite normal for Zhu Kei to react this way. A dog who could heal wounds instantly was certainly precious. No one could sell a dog with this miraculous skill. My young friend, just now your wounds healed from being punched by this dog. I suppose you're also a clever guy, so you should know the reason we want to buy the dog. Therefore, I'll cut to the chase. We need this dog to heal our wounds. Just name your price. Zhang Yashu coldly went straight to the point, for he didn't want to waste time with Zhu Kei. At the same time, the other cultivators also spread out and tried to seal off all possible ways for Zhu Kei to escape by standing at key points. Someone even isolated Zhu Kei from Zhang Hongyun and Liu Jingning. If Zhu Kei decided to escape, these people were set on at least preventing him from taking Zhang Hongyun away. However, Zhu Kei was crazy with delight. Originally, he thought these people wanted to buy Buttface forcefully because they had known Buttface's history. He didn't expect these people could be stupid enough to attribute his healed wounds to the dog's punch. On second thought, he could understand the misunderstanding of Zhang Yashu and the rest cultivators. It had looked like his wounds were being healed as Buttface punched him. At the thought of this, Zhu Kei had had a pretty good idea of how things stood. So he smiled coldly internally and decided to meet their trick with another trick. After all, they had extended their faces to him, he really had no reason to prevent himself from slapping them. He sighed as he looked at Zhang Yashu. I really want to help you, but you have so many people who need treatment. But face can't heal wounds for every one of you. Just now, he saved me at a high cost. We have stuck together and helped each other since our childhood. His suffering distressed me very much. Buttface was confused and didn't know what was happening. The next moment, a voice came into his ears. Don't talk. What? Buttface turned around immediately. He realized the one who sent the message to him was Zhang Hongyun. Zhang Hongyun still sat on the ground with her legs crossed. Her eyes were closed tightly and her body was wrapped in light. It seemed she was still healing her wounds in a state like the secluded cultivation. But Face's eyes immediately lit up. He had sensed something was wrong even though he was pretty stupid. A conspiracy. A big conspiracy. This is definitely a grand conspiracy. But Face couldn't help but get excited witnessing Zhu Kei's trick to cheat these wicked and annoying people. With the reminder from Zhang Hongyun. Buttface had no time to think about how this conspiracy was being planned. He just shut his mouth and tried to cooperate with Zhu Kei by pretending to be sick. Then, he waited to enjoy the show. Zhu Kei didn't expect Buttface could be so cooperative, so he shouted in surprise, Buttface, are you okay? Have your previous wounds reopened? Alas, this is all my fault. If I had not been injured so seriously just now, I wouldn't have asked you to use the ultimate unmatched give me back my health fist. The ultimate unmatched give me back my health fist? Many people were dumbfounded by the weird name. How could a miraculous magic art have such a vulgar name? However, most of the cultivators were not interested in the name. They had seen many weird things taken out by Zhu Kei such as the smelly tofu and the miraculous item which could look through the ancient stones, which had magical effects but hadn't been seen or heard of in the world of cultivators. It was quite normal for him to know of or have a miraculous magic art with a weird name. They didn't care about the name as long as the magic art could heal wounds. Liu Jingning couldn't help but roll her eyes. From her experience with Zhu Kei, she had guessed he was about to cheat those guys again. Zhang Hongyun still sat on the ground with her legs crossed. However, nobody noticed the faint smile appear and disappear on her face when Zhu Kei mentioned the ultimate unmatched give me back my health fist. Dong Junji of the Carefree Building stepped out and lightly said, Brother Wang. You caused our wounds. It's quite fair for us to pay you so that you can ask your pet to heal our wounds. Are you really going to reject us? What Brother Dong says is correct, Zhu Kei said. However, I am also in a pickle. Buttface can only heal a dozen people at most, 
which could reopen his old wounds and even kill him. I really can't accept that. The more he explained, the more eager the cultivators wanted to get buttface. However, Zuke continued to speak. How about this? You pick 15 people, and I will ask buttface to heal their wounds. But each of them has to first pay 1 million best grade spirit stones as the expense for buttface's future treatment. What? Everyone in this area shouted, their eyes wide in surprise. One million best grade spirit stones for healing our wounds. Are you robbing us? Many people were startled by this extravagant price. Indeed, they were very wounded. If they performed secluded cultivation for one or two months at home, they could recover fully and didn't need to pay such a high price. The reason they wanted to recover their full strength quickly was to capture Zhu Ke and Zhang Hongyun. But the price offered by Zhu Ke was really too high. One million best grade spirit stones for one person was an unacceptable price for them. Rumble. At this moment, a large sound reached them from afar. It seemed a tremendous explosion had just occurred. The shocked crowd unconsciously turned around. The next moment, all of them were dumbfounded. Is. Dot. That desolation city? Someone asked in a trembling voice. Everyone was stunned. Even Zhu Ke's expression also changed with his surprise. The explosion had occurred in Desolation City, where he and Liu Jingning had stayed several days ago. Now, an inexplicable change had occurred there. The entire city was floating in the air. The ancient city, where spiritual chi was sparse was being wrapped in dense spiritual fog. Meanwhile, rosy clouds fell from the city like dazzling waterfalls. The scene was startling, as it seemed the place had been turned into a celestial city. Chapter 626, The Ancient Bronze Hall How could this be? Someone said in terror. This sudden change had shocked everyone. The desolation city had been abandoned for many years. The spiritual chi in the city exhausted inexplicably. Since the celestial burial valley was also in this area, almost no commoners or cultivators were willing to go there. If Zhang Hongyun hadn't been there, maybe none of these cultivators would have appeared. What happened in the desolation city? Why was it turned into a celestial city so suddenly? Could it be that a celestial artifact was found? Someone asked abruptly. Many people were tempted by the thought. An exhausted, ancient city that had been abandoned was floating in the sky like a celestial city. The scene was quite spooky. Maybe some celestial artifacts really had been found. The desolation city is so close to the celestial burial city. Maybe the celestial who died in that valley left something in the desolation city that was about to be found. Someone started to guess. However, more people frowned and gravely stayed silent. Even Zuke was totally shocked. A little bit nervous. The desolation city looked like the legendary celestial city, which floated in the sky encircled by spiritual fog. However, he had unrest hidden in his heart. According to the facial expression of some powerhouses in the area, they were also haunted by unrest. Little brat, something must be wrong. I have a vague memory of this scene, but I can't recall it clearly. Buttface came to Zuke and said, confused. At this moment, have you ever seen this celestial city before? Zhu Ke asked in surprise. Buttface shook his head strenuously and said doubtfully, No, but I have a sense of familiarity from it. Really? Don't joke around. Zhu Ke was quite suspicious. However, it seemed Buttface wasn't kidding from his expression. Swish, swish, swish. Suddenly, numerous streamers flew across the sky. All papers with messages on them. People were stunned and looked up immediately. Then their faces lit up. These message delivering papers had come from the Desolation City. Apparently, the cultivators in the Desolation City had sent them messages. All at once, many people were eager to find out who the recipients of the papers were so that later, they could inquire what had happened in the Desolation City. However, to their surprise, these messages didn't have specific recipients. While they were flying over the cultivators' heads, these message-delivering papers exploded, one after another. Then closely packed and messy voices came from the sky. What's going on? Why did the spiritual chi in this area suddenly become intense? Oh, 
No, it seems like the city is alive. Run, what, an ancient bronze hall? The door to the hall opened by itself. Should we go inside and have a look? What, the spiritual chi is so intense? No, is this, heavenly chi? Ah, spare my life, please, ha ha ha. I'm going to become immortal, ha 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 ha. Finally, the voices in all the message delivering papers stopped abruptly amidst the manic laughing. Everyone watching with widened eyes was greatly shocked. The atmosphere immediately became creepy, because the laughing was not only manic, but also quite spooky, especially the one guy who had been screaming for help starting to laugh sharply and saying he would become immortal the next moment. By the end, almost all of them had been laughing creepily which was as unsettling as someone scratching a chalkboard with their fingernails. I heard someone mention the ancient bronze hall just now. How could an ancient bronze hall appear in the desolation city? Said Zhao Moonan, the holy son of the heavenly demon sect, while furrowing his brows. It's more than that. It seems they also found the heavenly chi. Said Ken Ji the holy virgin of the illusionary flower and moon sect. Could it be that these people had hallucinations? Zhao Taixuan was also suspicious. Only hallucinations could explain the manic laughing at the end. Rumble. Just at this moment, another deafening explosion sounded. After that, the entire desolation city, which was like a celestial city, suddenly exploded into a constant rain of crushed stones from the sky. However, the spiritual fog didn't dissipate instead becoming more intense. Moreover, the desolation city wasn't ruined. It seemed it was molting. The buildings at the outer layer had been totally ruined by the explosion. Countless crushed stones were falling from the city. In a blink of an eye, the ancient city was turned into an ancient bronze hall, which looked quite ethereal in the flickering spiritual fog. Gasp! All the people in the area couldn't help gasping and changing their expressions. There really is an ancient bronze hall. Moreover, this ancient bronze hall was hidden in the desolation city. Now that the city is ruined, its real appearance is revealed. It isn't a hallucination. We're too far away to be influenced. Someone shouted to deny Zhao Taixuan's guess. Could it be that the entire area's spiritual chi was exhausted by this ancient bronze hall? Wait, I remembered something. Botface widened his eyes and shouted loudly, This is an immortal mansion. A celestial was buried in the celestial burial valley during those years. This ancient bronze hall flew out from the body of that celestial. What? All of a sudden? Everyone was shocked by Buttface's words. Zuke was also stunned, then anxious to slap Buttface to death. An immortal mansion? If you knew it was an immortal mansion, why did you shout it out loud? Little brat, let's go and have a look. There's a fortune in it. Buttface shouted excitedly and grabbed Zuke's arm. Whoosh! Everyone in the area fixed their eyes on Zuke and Buttface instantly. They weren't fools. Among the many people around, only Buttface had recognized the ancient bronze hall and knew it had flown out of a celestial's body. No matter whether it was true or not, they had to get more information from Buttface. The creepy laugh from the messages made them feel more certain that they would be in danger in the ancient bronze hall. The only way for them to get the fortune was to go along with the dog. Buddy, the carefree building needs five places for healing. At just this moment. Dong Zhenji spoke suddenly while throwing a storage ring at Zhu Kei. There are five million of the best grade spirit stones in this ring. Please ask your pet to heal our wounds immediately. His words reminded the others. Right. We're still seriously wounded. If we can't heal our wounds in time, we won't have the strength to look for the fortune. All at once, the powerhouses of the big families and sects stepped out to stop Dong Zhenji and his men as well as to stop Zuke and Buttface from leaving. Dong Zhenji, isn't your carefree building too greedy? There are 15 places altogether. How could you ask for 5 places for yourself? This is outrageous. My young friend, could your pet heal wounds for even more people? Someone asked while looking at Zuke. Please heal my wounds first. You can ask for as many spirit stones as you want from me. One was anxious to give his storage ring to Zhu Kei. They had seen the ancient bronze hall with their own eyes. No matter if it was from a celestial's body or not, this ancient bronze hall would be extraordinary, and there would definitely be great treasure in it. 
The situation became chaotic immediately. Someone tried to approach Zuke so that he could kill Zuke and then rob Zuke's storage rings. Without any hesitation, Zuke rushed out of the crowd with Potface, simultaneously using the 3000 volts lightning. When they were beside Zhang Hongyan and Liu Jingning, Zuke snorted. Now you should give me a list of 15 names. If you dare to come any closer, I will leave immediately. After saying that, Zuke took out a divine escape spell and stared at the cultivators in warning. Hearing his words, the cultivators calmed down. Meanwhile, they were more certain that Buttface had magic arts to heal wounds. In this case, Zuke could have escaped, for he had no reason to cure them, but he had chosen to stay because he needed spirit stones. One million best grade spirit stones for each person, this was a pretty high price. However, it was nothing compared to the fortune in the ancient bronze hall. Moreover, these guys were quite confident that they could take back the spirit stones they gave to Zuke. However, the current problem is that there are over 200 seriously wounded powerhouses in the void training stage in this area. That dog can heal only 15 people. How can we decide? Unless some of us die first. As they thought of it, the powerhouses of the big families and sex stepped back vigilantly and stared at each other maliciously. Chapter 627 in fighting, the atmosphere in the area outside the celestial burial valley was quite solemn, even creepy, as if a great fight was about to break out. Liu, you killed my son 20 years ago, a voice full of hatred said. Don't get the idea that nobody knows your crime. Today, I will avenge my son. After that, an old man hit the back of another white haired old man who was in front of him with his palm abruptly. Bang! The white-haired old man was blown off immediately and started to spit blood. He had already been seriously wounded. The sneak attack by another cultivator who was at his cultivation stage gave him no time to defend himself. More importantly, the two of them were from the same sect. The white-haired old man didn't expect to be attacked by his teammate. The white-haired old man was blown away for dozens of meters before he fell heavily to the ground. Then, with a sad smile, he said, I killed your son, but your son killed my son before that. After saying that, he died. Apparently, the old man had been prepared to attack for a long time. When he had found a chance, he just lashed out with his kill action. This sudden incident made the situation tenser. A bloody fight seemed very close. HMPH, Wang Fufeng, step out and let's have a fight. A powerhouse at the void training stage shouted, Li Zhengyi Un. Here I am. I've been repelling you for a long time. A figure rushed out instantly. The two of them started to fight each other immediately. Their fight lit the fuse. The powerhouses harboring personal animosity started to attack their enemies. Before this, their enemies were at peak states and similar cultivation stages with them. They were not sure they could defeat their enemies. But now all of them had been wounded to different degrees. It was a good chance for them to seek revenge. Also. They could win places of treatment by defeating their opponents, and then they could search for fortune and opportunities in the ancient bronze hall. Even some holy sons and holy virgins couldn't hold back and participated in the fighting. All at once, the situation fell into chaos. However, some people didn't participate and stepped back immediately. People like Zhao Taixuan and Kenji disdained to attack the wounded opponents, even when they themselves were also wounded. Also. Some people figured this was a trap set up by Zuke to cause infighting among them through the places of treatment. Some holy sons and holy virgins who were honorable didn't want to be used by Zuke and chose to leave. Zhao Taixuan glanced at Zuke from afar and said in a low voice, I hope we can fight in the future. After saying that, he turned around and left for the ancient bronze hall. Zhao Munan, the holy son of the heavenly demon sect glanced at Zuke indifferently. When you reach the void training stage, I also want to fight with you. Don't let me down. Kenji of the Illusionary Flower and Moon Sect stopped paying attention to Zuke. After talking with Han Ying of the Heaven Secret Pavilion outside the fighting area, she also left for the ancient bronze hall with people from the Heaven Secret Pavilion. Even though they were wounded, 
They still wanted to strive for fortune and opportunities in the ancient bronze hall. Zuke was also quite anxious when he saw some people giving up on securing treatment places and started to dash toward the ancient bronze hall. He felt he couldn't waste time here anymore. After all, fortune and opportunity were related to luck and speed. If he was late, he would get nothing, no matter how lucky he was. At the thought of this, Zuke chose to ignore those who were fighting for the treatment places. He walked toward Zhang Hongyan and Liu Jingning and prepared to take them away. Liu Jingning couldn't help but roll her eyes when she saw Zuke approaching them. Little brat, you are really too mean. You drove them nuts. This was not the first time she'd witnessed Zuke cheat others. However, Zuke was the first person she'd seen repeatedly dare cheat the powerhouses at the void training stage. I should keep a low profile, but I also want to let the world know that people who offend me will always pay a price. Zuke spoke with a smile, but his statement was not a joke. Being merciful in this jungle like world was cruelty to oneself. After that, he turned to Zhang Hongyan and prepared to ask her to leave with him for the ancient bronze hall. However, Zuke was stunned into silence before he had time to say anything. Zhang Hongyan opened her eyes and stared at the ancient bronze hall in a daze as if she were deeply attracted by it. This was the most attentive Zhang Hongyan had ever appeared in front of Zuke, which caught his attention. It was just an ancient bronze hall. No matter how extraordinary it was, there was no way it could startle the Water Empress who was always so calm. Liu Jingning also noticed Zhang Hongyan had woken up, and her first reaction was to ask, Hongyan, is your wound healed? After saying that, Liu Jingning also felt surprised, this was the first time she had seen Zhang Hongyan in such an inattentive state. After coming to herself, Zhang Hongyan looked a bit puzzled. Then, she shook her head slightly and said, it's quite strange how close I feel to the ancient bronze hall. It seems to be calling me. What? You feel close to that ancient hall? Zuke's eyes widened immediately. When that ancient bronze hall appeared, he'd felt a strong uneasiness immediately. The other cultivators, including Liu Jingning, had similar feelings. Zhang Hongyan said she felt close to the hall, which was quite creepy. I want to go there and have a look. Zhang Hongyan stood without saying anything else. It seemed her wounds had almost been healed. Now she had reached the void training stage, which made her even more powerful and elegant. Her calm and mighty aura was also more intense. Okay, I'll go with you. Zuke didn't reject her proposal. After all, he'd planned to go there together with Zhang Hongyan and Liu Jingning. Therefore, he agreed by nodding his head instantly. The fight among the big families and sex was heating up. All the cultivators participating in the fight had been seriously wounded before, so many of them died during this fight at a startling speed. Before this fight, there were over 200 powerhouses at the void training stage. Dozens of them had left because they didn't want to participate in the fight. Now over half of the remaining cultivators had been killed. Only a little over 30 cultivators survived the fight. They were covered with blood. Their wounds were much more serious than before. However, it was astonishing that none of the carefree building's geniuses, led by Dong Zhenji, were killed. The survivors had almost reached their limits and couldn't stand further wounds. But they tried their best to keep standing. Over 30 people left meant 15 cultivators could win treatment places by killing one opponent respectively. Once they healed their wounds, they could strive for the fortunes and opportunities in the ancient bronze hall and became the ultimate winners. Zuke cleared his throat and spoke to the survivors with folded hands. Guys. Stop fighting. I can't watch this anymore. It's too cruel and ruthless. I decided to add five more places for treatment. So, there are altogether 20 places. 1 million best grade spirit stones for one person. The one who pays first will get the treatment place first. His words stunned the survivors. After that, Zhang Yashu threw out a storage ring with rapidly waving hands. Then, he loudly said, My young friend. This is 4 million best grade spirit stones. The Zhang family needs 4 places. Puff, Zhang Yashu, you're really shameless. Your quick reaction and greed impress me. The elder of the Gong family spat immediately. After that, he turned to Zhu Ke and also threw a storage ring. Then, 
He smiled and folded his hands. My young friend, the Gong family needs five places. This is six million best grade spirit stones. Please accept the remaining one million best grade spirit stones as my compensation for your loss. Compensation for his loss? Hearing his words, Zhang Yashu and the other cultivators couldn't stop their faces from twitching. Damn, you're so good at kissing SS. How could you possibly condemn others' shamelessness? Dong Junji couldn't help but say, Brother Wang, the rule of first come, first served should be respected. Just now I gave you five million best grade spirit stones. The carefree building shall enjoy the treatment first. I want to be punched first. Okay, okay, no problem. Zhu Kei said and nodded generously. He threw the storage rings received from these families and sex directly into the system package without even checking them. After that, Zhu Kei smiled and folded his hands. Guys, now all the places have been taken. Please stop stating prices. It is useless to mark up again. The Exploding Heavens faction always cherishes its reputation in business. Hearing that, Zhang Yashu and Dong Junji calmed down. What they needed urgently now was to heal their wounds, and they didn't want to waste time with bidding. After hearing Zhu Kei's promise that he would proceed according to the rules of first come, first served, they nodded in satisfaction. And their ill feelings and hatred for Zhu Kei also lessened slightly. After all, this young man respects the rules. He would be quite a good business partner if he hadn't offended us so seriously before. However, just at this time, Zhu Kei ignited the divine escape spell and solemnly said, A great friend afar brings a distant land near. My fellow cultivators, I have received your spirit stones, so I will definitely heal your wounds. In one year, I'll see you in the Andrology Prostate Hospital of the Exploding Heavens faction. I am sure your illnesses will be cured. Now I have something urgent to deal with. May our friendships remain forever like the green mountains and the ever-flowing rivers. Farewell. Whoosh. After saying that, Zhu Kei disappeared with Zhang Hongyan, Liu Jingning, and Botface. Chapter 628 Does it look like a coffin? The moment when everything suddenly quieted down was most frightening. All of a sudden, the whole area fell silent. Over 30 powerhouses in the void training stage were dumbfounded. After receiving over 20 million best grade spirit stones from them, Zhu Kei had fled like that. The whole process had been smooth like floating clouds and flowing water. None of the powerhouses had time to stop Zhu Kei. When Zhu Kei said, a bosom friend afar brings a distant land near. All of them had been exclaiming about Zhu Kei's literary talent. They were also surprised and wondered whether Zhu Kei wanted to bury the hatchet and be friendly with them from then on. However, the next moment, Zhu Kei told them they could come to him to heal their wounds a year later. Then he just fled after saying, We will meet again someday. What the hell? What the hell was that? Ah! Zhang Yashu, the Grand Elder of the Zhang family suddenly gave an earth-shaking roar. He was almost mad. Both of his eyes were red and bloodshot. In order to receive those two places of healing, he had ruthlessly killed many people along with the rest of the Zhang family's powerhouses. He didn't even care about offending other families and sex. During the fight, the Zhang family had also lost two powerhouses in the void training stage. With such a high cost, they had managed to grab two places. Only after paying millions of best grade spirit stones did they find out they had been cheated. It wasn't just the humiliation. All of them were annoyed, almost ready to spit blood. Their inner demons almost broke their shackles with the force of their anger. What a shameless young beast. The Gong family will torture him to death. Ah! Roared the powerhouse of the Gong family, clenching his teeth. After they had won the healing place arduously. They were told they would only be able to heal their wounds in a year. Zhu Kei was definitely teasing them. Based on their strength and accumulation, they could regain full power in at most two to three months, even if they were seriously wounded. They didn't need to wait another year. From now on, there will be no standing room for him in the East Continent, said Bei Lingru Yi, the Holy Virgin of the Bei family, coldly with magnificent killing intent. She was shaking with anger for they had suffered a great loss this time. He's asking for death. Dong Junji squinted his chilly eyes, 
Then he waved his hand and started to head for the ancient bronze hall along with several geniuses of the carefree building. The next moment, the rest of the people came to themselves and also started to follow them. They knew Zuke would definitely go to the ancient bronze hall. All of these people broke out in uproar. At last, only powerhouses and apprentices of the Utopia faction were still present, dumbfounded with slightly opened mouths. He is awesome. What a shameless man he is. An old man said in terror. He's too unscrupulous. How could he cheat those big families and sex like that? Fortunately, we weren't involved. Otherwise, we would also be aggravated. Another powerhouse said fearfully. His unscrupulous means could be compared with the notorious Nguan Jude. Could he be the second Nguan Jude? They aren't the same. Nguan Jude is powerful but disrespectful. People can't do anything to him. This man is still young and inexperienced. Sooner or later, he'll be taken care of by someone. Several people were talking about this issue, still terrified by Zhu Kei. If they hadn't obeyed Liu Jingning's instructions, they would also have suffered a great loss like the other families and sex. Zhu Kei's trick of killing with a borrowed knife had seemed very coarse. But he had achieved his goal. It was quite clear that he planned this dog-eat-dog -dog game. The powerhouses of the big families and sex also knew his plan. However, no one could resist the temptation of the ancient bronze hall's significant profits. All of them had wanted to take the great fortune using their full strength. Therefore, even though they knew Zuke was planning to kill them with borrowed knives, they would rather have been injured and receive spots on the list to be healed. However, none of them had expected that Zuke had never planned to heal them at all, from the beginning to the end. He had even scammed over 20 million best grade spirit stones from them. This time, all the families and sex had paid a double penalty. Dot. Two days later, outside the desolation city, many people had arrived at this place. Normally, people needed three days to cover the trip from the celestial burial valley to the desolation city. These people had managed to arrive in two days to fight for the great fortune. After their arrival, none of them acted recklessly. Although they knew a great change had occurred there, they were still shocked by the scene in front of them. The entire desolation city was floating in the sky, leaving a big pit on the ground. Now the desolation city had fallen apart in the sky, and only the ancient bronze hall was left. The ancient bronze hall was saturated with a creepy aura. Although it was surrounded by spiritual fog and strands of spiritual chi fell down from time to time, these people became more and more uneasy after their arrival. The entire ancient bronze hall was made of cast bronze. Therefore, it was wrapped in a green glow, which was quite eerie. Countless runes that were thickly written, like tadpoles, were carved on the surface of the bronze. It seemed like each rune contained a Taoist connotation, which was quite tempting. People could lose themselves easily looking at these runes. This ancient hall is very special. It seems those strange runes came from ancient times. Zhao Taixun said, furrowing his eyebrows while he looked at the ancient bronze hall. They didn't move recklessly, for the hall was quite scary. Besides the creepy runes, the current situation of the Desolation City was also abnormal. They all knew a lot of cultivators had once stayed in this city. Now, they found nobody there, not even a dead body. The entire area was like a death trap. Those aren't ancient runes, not even. Writing of this world. Said Han Ying, the Holy Virgin of the Heaven Secret Pavilion, seriously at this moment. She was shocked by the runes. Not from this world, could they? be from the spiritual realm? The rest of people, who were surprised by her words, couldn't help their quickening heartbeats. If this ancient hall was from the spiritual realm, it must have been extraordinary and would definitely cause great chaos in this world of cultivators. It's highly possible that it was from the spiritual realm. The spiritual chi in this area is so intense that it could be compared with heavenly chi. The spiritual chi here must have come from the ancient hall. Could it be that what the dog said was true? The owner of this ancient hall was the celestial who was buried in the celestial burial valley. Someone said in surprise, whoosh. At this moment, an air-rending sound came from afar. Together with Zhang Hongyan, Liu Jingning and Botface, 
Zuke had arrived by stepping on lightning. After using the divine escape spell, he had been teleported to a place dozens of miles away from the celestial burial valley. He had also spent two days traveling to the desolation city. When they were close to the place, Zuke felt his blood freeze and an intense uneasiness possessed him. Liu Jingning and Buttface also had the same feeling. Therefore, they were very serious. Zhang Hongyan changed her expression again. If she hadn't been determined, she would also have rushed to the ancient bronze hall. I feel like I've been here before. Zhang Hongyan murmured in a low voice. Her eyes were full of confusion. She couldn't remember this ancient hall. However, she had a feeling that she had been there before. On the way, as she went nearer, this feeling became more and more intense. She mentioned this feeling to Zhu Kei and Liu Jingning on the way, so they were no longer surprised, but confused. Don't be nervous. Later, I'll go with you. Even if it is a celestial abode, I'll blast it if something goes wrong. Zhu Kei boasted. Now he was strong enough to say so especially with the assistance of his divine escape spells. Exactly, it's just a celestial abode. I could smash it with one punch. Buttface also started to boast. However, Zhang Hongyan shook her head and said, Don't come with me. I have a feeling that this ancient hall will endanger anyone who comes close to it, except for me. She wasn't boasting, for she really had this intense feeling in her heart even more real than the sixth sense. Only you're here. Why isn't everyone else? Zhao Taixun asked confusedly and turned around at this moment. They're still behind us. All of them wanted to show gratitude to me for helping them heal their wounds. Zhu Kei squinted his eyes and said with a smile, Why are you still here? Zhao Taixun and the others paused immediately. Zhu Kei's smile made them vigilant? For Zuke had also smiled like this when he had tricked them before. That ancient hall is quite weird. It doesn't have an entrance. Zhao Moonan replied calmly. They had done an inspection around the ancient hall, but they hadn't found an entrance. Moreover, thousands of cultivators used to stay in the desolation city. Now, all of them are gone. I'm afraid all of them have died. Zhao Taixun said seriously as he fixed his eyes on Buttface. Buttface used to talk about the history of this ancient hall. Therefore, they thought Buttface would know more about it. However, Buttface said nothing. Zhu Kei said in surprise, Well, I don't know whether you've noticed it or not, but doesn't this ancient hall look like an enormous coffin? A coffin? People were stunned by his words. When they turned around to check the ancient hall, their expressions changed. At Zhu Kei's observation, they realized this ancient bronze hall actually was like a gigantic coffin. If it really is a coffin, the entrance should be on the top, right? Chapter 629 are you going to make trouble? It's not a effing coffin. This is an immortal mansion. There must be good stuff in it. Buttface shouted loudly fixing his shiny eyes on the ancient bronze hall. He couldn't restrain his desire to rush into it. No, this is absolutely a coffin. Zhu Kei felt very sure of this. Even if it was an immortal mansion, it really looked like a coffin. Moreover, he had the specialized knowledge of several grave robbers. Therefore, his eyes were so sharp that he could tell it was a powerful coffin at a glance. However, the problem was that since this ancient bronze hall made everyone uncomfortable, why did Zhang Hongyan get a feeling she was quite close with it, and even that the ancient hall was calling her? Could it be that this thing could choose its owner automatically just as it was calling Zhang Hongyan over? Zhu Kei used to read a lot of web fictions, so he knew these tricks very well. He made all kinds of guesses in his heart. Let me came to the top of it and have a look first. Zhao Moonan said calmly at this moment. Then, he jumped into the sky. After that, Kenji, Han Ying and the other holy sons and holy virgins also jumped into the sky to check the top of the ancient bronze hall. However, the next moment, all of them were puzzled. There is no entrance? Zhao Moonan frowned immediately. Zhao Taixuan was also confused. This is strange. The ancient hall is completely sealed. It looks like a coffin. But a coffin should have a lid. I can't find a gap on the surface of it, let alone an entrance. It might be related to these runes, which should be decoded first before we can find the entrance. 
Ken Ji said in a low voice. Everyone tossed their eyes to Han Ying, for all of them knew the Holy Virgin of the Heaven Secret Pavilion was the most knowledgeable person among them. Han Ying shook her head slightly and frowned. Sorry, guys, I haven't seen these kind of runes before. Maybe my master could decode them. By the time your master gets here, a lot of big shots will have decoded it, and all our efforts will be in vain, someone said reluctantly. I really don't believe we can miss such a great fortune and let someone else carve it up. Zhao Moonan squinted his eyes and coolly said, there must be an entrance somewhere on this ancient hall. Don't forget the message delivering spells, which prove that a lot of people have entered this hall. Right. According to the content of the message delivering spells, someone already entered this ancient hall. After realizing that, people seem to find hope again. Come on, please make way. A shout came in at this moment. If we can't find an entrance, let me make one by blowing something up. Hearing that. People turned around and were almost scared senseless by what they saw. Zhu Ke was coming over with a three-colored fiery lotus in his hand. He was poised to throw the fiery lotus at the ancient bronze hall. Stop, you should never do that. Han Ying shouted as her expression fell. My fellow cultivator, don't be reckless, right? Please calm down and don't do that. Everyone stepped out to stop him. They had witnessed the power of this magic art before which was extraordinary. It was not a good idea to attack the ancient hall directly, whether it was effective or not. Don't be nervous, look at how scared you all are. I can easily tell that you haven't robbed a grave before. How can you call yourself holy sons or holy virgins? Zhu Ke shook his head as if he were quite disappointed in them. Those cultivators couldn't help their lips from twitching. We can't be holy sons or holy virgins if we've never robbed graves before. I'm afraid those who used to rob graves are not qualified to be holy sons or holy virgins. Come on, make way. If you don't know how to solve this problem, just get away from here. Zuke pushed the cultivators back and rushed toward the ancient bronze hall with the three-colored fiery lotus in his hand. After that, he pretended to look at the ancient hall carefully and said in a serious manner, according to my experience accumulated through years of extensive reading, the name of this thing is the ancient bronze coffin, which has an extraordinary history. Oh, his words stunned the cultivators immediately. Han Ying, who was also shocked hurriedly said, my fellow cultivator, do you know this ancient hall? Could you tell us its history? Zhu Ke solemnly rubbed his chin. Have you read Stian before? Have you heard of the coffin toad by nine dragons? This must be the ancient bronze coffin toad by the nine dragons. I guess Yi Fan and his classmates are still in it. Stian? Coffin toad by nine dragons? Yi Fan and his classmates. Zhu Ke's description totally confused the surrounding cultivators. They had heard of the coffin toad by nine dragons, while the other information was totally new to them. However, the term coffin toad by nine dragons alone was attractive enough for them, whose coffin could be so powerful that it needed to be towed by nine dragons. Damn, little brat, you're humiliating our dragon race. But face who was annoyed, said angrily. Zhu Ke ignored his comments. In fact, he was cheating these people. It was impossible for the so-called coffin toad by nine dragons to appear in this area. The history of this ancient hall couldn't be so extraordinary either. The reason that he placed the three-colored fiery lotus in his hand was not to attack the ancient bronze hall but to defend himself. He approached the ancient hall so that he could ask the system to investigate it. System. Can I enter this ancient hall? Zhu Ke silently asked the system. After defeating one million celestial soldiers trying to collect it for the system, he hadn't received any response from the system, not until now. It seemed it was just going to act as usual without mentioning his debt. Ding. After investigating, a powerful rune spell has been found in this thing. The host can't enter it. The system replied, I can't enter. Why? You could just name your price for breaking the spell for me. The system is not able to break this spell for the host. The host should break it by enhancing the level of the spell master. Do I have to enhance the level of the spell master? Zhu Ke frowned immediately. From the system's replies, he could tell that the system was able to break the spell. However, when the spell had reached a certain level, 
the system would ask the host to break it himself by improving his strength instead of breaking it for the host. Boom, a dull sound came in from inside the ancient bronze hall as if something heavy had fallen on the ground. After that, the runes on the bronze wall of the ancient hall suddenly became dazzling and gave off intense heavenly chi. All the runes started to rotate and gather on one bronze wall, just like an azure lake. These runes melted the bronze wall and created a gap. It was pitch dark in the gap. Nothing could be seen from outside. However, a cloud of intense spiritual chi gushed out of it. Did. Dot. This ancient hall opened by itself? Zuke was shocked and a little bit dumbfounded. How could this ancient hall open without any cause or reason? My fellow cultivator, you are really awesome. You opened the ancient hall. The holy sons and holy virgins behind him were also shocked. They thought the ancient hall had been opened by Zhu Ke when he approached it. Zhao Taixu unfolded his hands and admiringly said, I thought you were lying and didn't expect you could really open it. My fellow cultivator, I hereby apologize to you. Although your cultivation stage is not very high, you are quite powerful and knowledgeable. You shame me. Han Ying also showed her admiration to Zhu Ke. They knew Zhu Ke's strength before. Now, they were more or less convinced by Zhu Ke's ability to open the ancient hall. At least they thought Zhu Ke was qualified to race with them bridle to bridle. A. Zhu Ke was a little bit dumbfounded. It is quite embarrassing to act tough while so confused. He knew clearly that he had nothing to do with the opening of this ancient hall. However, since a lot of people were commending him, he should absolutely accept the compliments. All at once, Zuke proudly jutted his chin out and puffed up his chest. Zuke of the Exploding Heavens faction will not be stopped by an ancient bronze hall. I even entered and left the Celestial Burial Valley seven times. Forget this ancient bronze hall. What, my fellow cultivator, have you ever been to the Celestial Burial Valley? People were shocked hearing that. As one of the nine death traps, the Celestial Burial Valley was extremely dangerous. Even cultivators at the form synthesis stage couldn't get out. So how could such a young man at the infant transformation stage enter and leave the Celestial Burial Valley seven times? SHT, he's really shameless. But face cursed immediately. He had bragged about entering and leaving the Celestial Burial Valley seven times first. Now his achievement had been stolen by Zhu Ke. This little brat is really good at acting. Liu Jingning also smiled and glanced at Zhang Hongyun. Are you really going to enter the hall? Yes. Zhang Hongyun nodded solemnly. Then, she jumped into the sky and flew toward the ancient hall. At this moment, someone couldn't help but say, Guys. The entrance has appeared, let's go into it and have a look, right? Let's retrieve the fortune and opportunities with our own abilities. Zhao Taixun said and also dashed toward the entrance. Whoosh, Zhao Taixun disappeared in the black gap as if he were devoured by it. Seeing that, the other cultivators also caught up with him and didn't want to be left behind. After gathering Liu Jingning, Zhang Hongyun, and Buttface, Zhu Ke said, don't get separated inside the hall. Stay close to me. In case of danger, I will take you out immediately. The only thing he could rely on was the divine escape spell. Okay. Liu Jingning and Zhang Hongyun nodded at the same time. After that, they also dashed toward the entrance by following the other cultivators. The closer they got to the entrance, the more uneasiness Zhu Ke felt in this heart. Originally, He'd planned to prevent Liu Jingning and Zhang Hongyun from getting involved in this issue. When he saw Zhang Hongyun's expression, he dismissed his idea. Maybe he could persuade Liu Jingning, but he could never stop Zhang Hongyun. This empress was hard to control. A woman who could only be controlled by a celestial, was a perfect description of her. Alas, I'm depressed. Zhu Ke sighed as he flew forward. He had failed to win her heart even after saving her by pretending to be a hero. This was extremely depressing. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They got very close as cultivators in front of them entered the entrance. See you in the hall. Zhu Ke said as he sped up to dash toward the pitch black entrance. However, the next moment, 
He was confused. His body passed through the entrance as if nothing was in front of him. It seemed this ancient hall was just an illusion. His body just passed through without touching anything. He didn't enter the ancient hall. What? Zuke was shocked as he emerged from the other side of the ancient bronze hall. What happened? Why can't I enter? Buttface howled from behind him. Zuke turned around and found Liu Jingning and Zhang Hongyun had disappeared. Apparently, they had entered the ancient hall successfully. Buttface also passed through the ancient hall and came out of the other side like him. Zuke raised his eyebrows immediately. Flames of fury burned in his heart when he looked at this enormous ancient bronze hall. Damn, what does this mean? Does it mean dogs and I are not allowed to enter? Is there going to be trouble? Chapter 630, The Startling Change of the Ancient Hall Little brat, what have you done? Why can't I enter this hall? Buttface said ruefully as he rushed over. He was worried that the precious items would be grabbed by others if he didn't enter the hall in time. Zuke stared at Buttface and said, SHT, it's none of my business. Can't you see that I'm also here? Then what's going on? The rest of the guys could enter the hall. Why can't we? Buttface was stunned, then said suspiciously, Could it be that someone sets up us because he knew we're invincible? What? How could that be? Who? Who's that discerning? Zuke started to search around, widening his eyes. It's too pathetic. This is the pain that invincible powerhouses have to endure, for they are always treated as the center of attention and set up. This is so annoying. Buttface sighed frustratedly. Shaking his head, Zuke also shook his head and exclaimed, We have no choice. Just like fireflies in the dark night, we can't conceal our dazzling glamour even if we decide to keep a low profile. It isn't a good thing to be remarkable. The man and the dog were shamelessly making narcissistic remarks. Actually, the two of them had reached a tacit agreement that they should look around to find out whether they had been set up by someone while they were giving their shameless remarks. After all, the situation was too weird. Everyone could enter the hall except Zuke and Buttface. It's weird. It doesn't seem like anyone is setting us up. Buttface said in surprise after looking around for a while. It seems the ancient bronze hall is problematic. When we approach it, it becomes an illusion, like a mirage. Zuke said while furrowing his eyebrows. He was floating outside the ancient bronze hall. When he waved. His hand went directly through the bronze wall. SHT. Why? Buttface was quite reluctant. He punched the bronze wall with his paw. However, it was just like punching air. This is terrible. Hanyan could be in danger. Zuke was quite anxious and frowned even harder. Buttface nodded. I also noticed that her facial expression was quite weird before she entered the hall. Boom. At this moment. The ancient bronze hall created a dull sound. A magnificent pressure gushed out instantly. Zuke and Buttface changed expressions and stepped back immediately. This pressure was too overbearing, even more formidable than the heavenly tribulation, as if it could crush everything. Zuke also could clearly sense the entire ancient bronze hall vibrate a bit as it created the dull sound, like it had been kicked by someone. Damn, what's going on? It seemed like the pressure came from a celestial. Buttface was completely shocked. Zuke's face also darkened. Just now, the pressure had indeed been extraordinary. If they hadn't run away in time, they would have been crushed on the spot. It had been a long time since his arrival in the world of cultivators, and this was the most powerful pressure he had sensed. Although he hadn't encountered a powerhouse at the form synthesis stage yet, he knew this pressure was several hundred times more powerful than powerhouses at the form synthesis stage. Zuke summoned the system and asked immediately, System, please check spell masters, at which stage could I break this spell? He thought he had to enter the hall and take out Zhang Hongyun and Liu Jingning, otherwise, he would never see them again. Ding, through inspection, to break this rune spell, the host should be at least a level 2 celestial spell master. The system replied. Zuke immediately became confused. Level 2 Celestial Spell Master? He was just a one-star spell master now. The difference between a spell master and a celestial spell master was not just a single word. He didn't know how many acting tough points he would have to pay to reach the stage of celestial spell master. At that moment, 
he only had around 20,000 acting tough points. His heart was filled with inadequacy. With those acting tough points, he could reach 3-star or 4-star spellmaster at most, which was still far away from the celestial spellmaster. System, I want to take out alone. Zuke shouted with all his heart. Ding. The host's current credit line is zero. Meanwhile, the host still owes 20,000 acting tough points. Since the host has passed the trial of debt collector Beatstetter, the host can use this function once. Damn. This is really good news. Zuke was pleasantly surprised immediately. It turned out that the advantage of repudiation was that if the debtor defeated the debt collectors, the debtor could use the function debt collector beats debtor one time. Holy sht. This is awesome. System, hurry up, I want to use debt collector beats debtor. Just bring me Yi Fan. No, bring Shi Hao, the Heaven Emperor Huang, here and ask him to open the ancient hall. Zhu Kei said excitedly. However, the system's reply frustrated Zhu Kei like it had poured a basin of cold water on him. Ding. The host needs 100,000 acting tough points to summon a person randomly from another world. If the host wants to summon the designated person from another world, the host needs to pay 10 million acting tough points. Damn. Why don't you just rob me outright? I have to pay 10 million acting tough points to summon a designated person right? How long would it take for me to accumulate so many acting tough points? Zuke was annoyed. This was outrageously expensive. Moreover, he even couldn't afford to pay 100,000 acting tough points to summon a person randomly, let alone 10 million acting tough points. Rumble. At this moment, the ancient bronze hall created another dull sound that was quite loud. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Before Zuke and Buttface had time to react. The ancient hall's entrance glowed suddenly. Dozens of figures dashed out crazily, forming lines that looked like streamers. Bang! The entrance disappeared instantly. After flying out, the figures fell directly to the ground, like kites with broken strings. Zuke widened his eyes in surprise. All of these people were covered in blood and at death's door. Even Liu Jingning and Han Ying, the holy virgin of the Heaven Secret Pavilion, who hadn't been injured before entering the hall, were coughing blood and looked pale. The other holy sons and holy virgins, such as Zhao Munan of the Heavenly Demon Sect and Kenji of the Illusionary Flower and Moon Sect, were more seriously wounded. At their last gasp, Zhao Taixun of the Eight Directions Green Dragon Sect was missing an arm. The wound was quite startling. It seemed like his arm had been neatly cut off by a sharp blade. Damn. Thanks to my wonderful foresight, we didn't enter the hall. Buttface was scared. Wait, where's Hong Yan? Why didn't she come out? Zhu Kei realized something was wrong. All those who had entered the ancient hall had come out except for Zhang Hong Yan. He searched around but didn't find her. Right, there's one missing. Buttface said belatedly. Whoosh, Zhu Kei dashed to Liu Jingning using lightning immediately. He grabbed her and prevented her from falling down. What happened? Where is Hong Yun? He asked anxiously for fear that an acquaintance had died again. Liu Jingning's lips were completely pale. After being hugged by Zhu Kei, she coughed up blood again. Her eyes were filled with terror and confusion. She murmured, This. This ancient hall is the coffin of Zhang Hongyun. I saw her lying in it. 